But uh, you guys kind of have been going room to room in the house and uh, running into like the, you know, the natural inhabitants of the place. Yeah, it seems destitute and it's just a lot of vermin we've been running into so far. Uh, you also saw criss- some crisscrossing footprints though, so you know that somebody's been in there. Where was the uh, crisscross in uh, footprints? Like right around they, here? They had led you to that, uh, to the kitchen, uh, uh, this, right, yeah, this right. room where you guys had found that trap door. And when you interacted with the trap door, you heard a voice uh, <clears throat> that it was kind of like a spooky voice. <laughs> Welcome, fools. Welcome to your deaths. And uh, you guys kind of cleared out of there and made your way. <laughs> <laughs> to where not you, yet. To where you, uh, yeah. Well, not out of the house, but out of that room, and kind of oh, yeah. made your way yeah. back to where you where you ended up there. So, um, so then let's let's begin tonight mm-hmm. uh, with your having gotten into the room and decided to take a short rest. Uh huh. May I immediately start? Yes. Gilfin passes out face first on the ground from drinking too much rum. Okay. And I like to get a pail of water and dump it on his head. Well, do you want me to take any damage for that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you splash some water. Where am I? Welcome, Vic. You checked out on us a little bit there. So you all can benefit from a, sh- from a short rest in whatever way that you want to. Okay. And you guys can talk about like what you're doing on your rest. Jagable. Jagable. Did you... You let me day drink again? You know I can't be day drinking with my, with me condition. He literally drinks all die, every die. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, I'm gonna use my hit dice. I only got one. <laughs> Whoa! Shoot the blue eye. Bite. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep all an right. eye on the corridor. I'll roll make sure I know what's coming. I'll do my hit dice too. So the room that you guys are in is sort of a, like a, a dressed down living area, or that's what it would have been. Of course, the whole place is kind of falling apart and decrepit. Um, the only thing of note in the room is a clump of tiny red mushrooms growing around the fireplace in a semicircular formation. Otherwise, otherwise the room is bare. May I inspect those um, mushrooms to see what kind of, if I can discern what what nature they are? Yeah, they're poisonous. You, you know, I was just about to do the same thing. Why well, you, you guys roll a survival good. check, uh, both of you? And while you're doing that, Gilfin's pulling glass out of his beard. What the what the fuck is this? I How do I get glass in my beard? Are, these are common enough mushrooms that you know that they're not harm that, that they're they're not harmful. They're harmful. Okay. Mushrooms. Both both of you would recognize them as. I got an eight. Nothing more than toadstools. So. I got a one. Yeah, you would you still, you'd still know <laughs> that, uh, that th- these are these are harmless. Are they, are they uh, something we can eat? Edible, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put them in our rations. Okay. How do I get glass in my beard? I don't know. I think it's because you went through the window and you broke it, and there was no one out there, and you were trying to find him, and then we heard a voice, and it said, "Welcome to our deaths." So I've been keeping an eye on the corridor, make sure it's like I should go out the window after I heard that voice. Yes, but not before. They always say, go out the window, go out the window. It is an expression that I've heard before. (laughs) (laughs) I think it means something like, seize the day. (laughs) Is that... Dogs. That, that, that's not the one. Oh, that's the one. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> My stomach is growling. <laughs> Have one of these mushrooms. It'll it'll make it feel. Do you rough. hear that? Am I still drunk? I'm not sure. I hear things all the time. <laughs> it sounds like muffling, muffled voices. Where, what directions is it coming from? Sounds like it's coming from either downstairs or upstairs. <coughs> it's coming from upstairs. All right. Now you we hear a muffled voice. We could go upstairs through here, I think. What about here? Um, when we explored before, we found these are stairs up. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, that's the stairs that go up. We yep. can go right out there and check it. So it's sort of a. <laughs> So the uh, this uh, entrance hall where the stairs up are, uh, if, you, if you want to move your pieces there, that's where you're going. If you want me to, I've so got my wits about me. If you, you want me to get in the lead, I... can you move me over to there? 
I, uh, <laughs> I think I, I think I've got, I've got my wits about me, and I, I can, uh, I can. They call it tanking, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the staircase climbs up to a balcony ahead that you can see at the top of the staircase. You... Uh, it's all kind of mashed and, and broken down, so it's a, a broken handrail on the balcony. The stairs look safe, though, um, and uh, that, that's what you can tell. From Unless you've got some of that stealth stuff you want to... Well, I'll, I might scout ahead, depending on what's up there. All right, we'll give a go first, just in case. All right, all right. <laughs> I guess I, I owe it. It's like point. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. It's getting loud. That's not good. I don't think I've ever used those buttons. It's <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> That's so cool. Yes. Yeah. Messing with them earlier. So you guys are going upstairs. Yes. Okay. Hooray! Hooray. While we're going upstairs, I would like to closely inspect the woodwork, and um, I'm just going to say. You know, with a little bit of work, I really think this could be a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite lonely. So here's your same entrance way there. You know, put your pieces going upstairs. So you're coming up the rear, or? <coughs> sure. I mean, it's taking me some time. To I can pretty much like the other way same spice as you, I think, because I'm a little All right. Yeah. So I'll just shoot between your legs uh, if we see anything like dangerous. It, does it lead into the hallway, Chris, or this room? What do you mean? The stairs. The, the stairs, stairs are going go this up, way, right? And there's a balcony. Yeah, they go Yeah, the, towards, yes. All right, okay. Yep. All right. So this is a drop down the stairs. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, we can look downstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we should, we can look up. Yeah, it makes sense. I know it's only about 20 feet down, but I'm small, yeah, so it like, looks like a mile. 40 feet for you. So you guys move upstairs and it looks just kind of how it looks there. You can see that to the left and right, the hallway can, kind of continues down. Uh, there's a wall and then, you know, there, it looks like there's another corridor around the corner there. I'd and imagine. You hear the... You guys can roll sort of a survival check. It's a little bit louder. Absolutely. 21. Survival? Yeah. 14. Now, when I have... 13. Alright. So, so my survival is plus 3, but it's also uh, one of my... That's why it's plus three because your other ones are oh, plus okay. one. Oh, okay. Plus three. Yeah. I'm trying these new. You have proficient papers. Papers. Yeah. All right. So I got fourteen. Okay. So yeah, you can all kind of tell it's coming from this direction. And we see doors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's multiple doors, and then down this way, would we see like two doors? Uh, there. So you see, there's a door here, here, and here. Okay. So there's three doors. And then doors. to the left, yeah, there's two. So three rooms this side, two rooms that way. All right. Well, what do you want to do? You want to go down there and see what that is? Three rooms to the right, and that's where that's where the it's sort of towards the end of the hall. We are not alone in this house. No, we know that. But I came here to get treasure. You think there's a keyhole we can look through? Use your good eye. Well, they're both good. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to make sure that if we go outside in, in the bright light, I'll have one of my eyes adjusted. That's why I got my eye patch on. Why are you wearing it in the dark then? Uh, well, it is kind of dark. Put the eye patch up. I thought halflings were adapted to see in the dark anyway. You got that wrong. How way. dark is the room? Oh. I'm on a night. Uh, so you guys kind of, um, you guys kind of came up the path towards the house, you know, at, at dusking time. So I'd say that there's kind of that grayish blue glow mm -hmm. still coming up the upper windows. Right. So I mean, it's gloomy. You can see kind of the motes of dust playing because it's a dirty place kind of in the, mm -hmm. in the incoming light. But there's probably maybe 45 minutes a day like yeah, that. Yeah, it's nasty weather out here. We can go check like out. Barovia. <laughs> it was kind of. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but on the path up, there was uh, you saw green glowing lights playing underneath the water. Oh, okay. So it is kind of a spooky... Yeah, um, I should have beautiful. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it is, but I agree. I agree. We can, we can try to listen through the door, or look through the door, or we can quietly go in the door. It's almost like or, you can hear you talking out there. 
I'm gotta whisper then. He's talking more often, it becomes more urgent. Oh, let's go. Alright. Let's go check it out. Okay. We'll go down here. <clears throat> Three. Oh, check the handle. Okay, yeah. It's unlocked. Unlocked. Push open. I'll just push open the door. I got cherry right. ready. I got cherry ready. Slam it open. Alright, so. Um, you enter a room that's kind of a decaying uh, bedroom. The uh, It's got a bed in the center of it. Again, uh, cobwebs hanging from everything. The furniture is crappy and broken. You can see there's water stains on the floor there. Um, and there's also... Uh, a man, alive, bound and gagged on the floor, wearing only his undergarments. And sort of... What kind of party was dead. going on here? <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, buddy. <laughs> I've got my crossbow trained. I don't want you guys go and see. I was say, uh, one of us stand guard. I got it. Do you want, want to check them out or pronounce you more yet. personable than me? Absolutely. What about this water? Watch yourself. I know. I hope it didn't cause any mold. I hear it's slippery sometimes. <laughs> and I want salt water. <laughs> I want salt water come to life. Yeah, you don't want black mold in your house. That's <laughs> dangerous. Look at that sweater or whatever it was downstairs. You're covered in mold. Go around the water? No, I can just walk through it. Okay. I'm not afraid of any water. Ugh. Um. So he's bound and gagged. Yes. Is he a human? Yeah, you can make a deck save real quick. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah. I told you about that water. That's a six. And then I add nothing. Oh, that's too bad. That The uh, floor gives away as you try and cross the water stained area. And <laughs> Darn. you fall uh, to the level below. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so let's take a look where you are. How much damage do I take? Uh, you'll take just two damage. Okay. I'll remember that up. I'll re I know where I am. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's a... Uh... I That's going to be so hard to fix, I'll say from downstairs. There's some of that invisible water, Jack Oh, Are you all right? I'm fine, but the floor is broken. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to warn us of the shitty floor. <laughs> I will uh, affix us oh, by grappling you got hook grapple, okay. to, the, to the wall there. And you toss can walk a rope around to the floor. To, to, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna walk he can around. Make his way back upstairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would, it's it, kind of cool. Okay. Going up a rope. If you want to have him scramble up a rope, scramble I don't care, up a rope. Fine. All right. So as he's doing that, I'm he's walking over, mark. and I'm gonna pull the uh, I'll just the mouth the stairs thing. He's from the guy. I want to use this goddamn rope. Off. Yeah, I'll pull his gag off. <laughs> I got 50 feet of hemp and rope. I want to fucking use it. So yeah, while you're doing that, I'm gonna pull his gag. All right, I'm Ned. Oh. Oh, so that's it, huh? Yeah. Is Ned? Hi, Ned. Ned's just in his undies, and he kind of sits up. Oh, Why are you not I didn't untie anything else yet? Oh, oh, hello, I'm Ned. Thank you. I didn't think you could hear me. I heard whispering and footfalls downstairs. What are you doing in his house? <clears throat> I'm a traveler from Sydney. Oh. I'm, on, I'm on my way to Salt Marsh. Congrats, you made it. Not quite yet. Went to on the outskirts. What made you stop in here? It's kind of a destitute home. I was looking for a place to sleep last night. That's why I entered this house. <laughs> did you plan this? <laughs> yes, well, we did. we're there. <laughs> somewhere yeah. there. So we're a while up the road. Well, there's definitely not any treasure or anything valuable here. You might want to just scoff her off, eh? I had a lot of rum. I don't know where I am. Release me. I could help you on your mission. Uh, we already released him. <laughs> Wait, now... <laughs> no, he took the gag off. And yeah. Oh, out. okay. Yeah. But who tied him? That's the question. Yeah, how'd you get... What kind of party were you having when you got tied up? When I entered the kitchen, someone struck me from behind and knocked me unconscious. Was it a snake? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't a snake. If he I'm says confused, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. 
It's like <laughs> this D&D place Stephen is... Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> this place is full of vermin. We've been fighting snakes and rats and nasty things hidden inside the walls and pipes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a good look at the guy? I didn't see or hear anyone. I told you, they hit me from behind. Oh, darn. Well, uh, how's your butthole feel? <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this well, is great. I love this. Is there, uh, doesn't seem to be a serial <laughs> rapist running around. Let's help you on your mission. Okay. Uh, well, now, wait a second. There's a rescue fee, I believe. I can do that. Oh, okay. That's fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, 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 are you, what are you offering? I can help you your mission. <laughs> <laughs> and just how are you going to do that? You don't even know what a mission is. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anybody. St- I think this guy's a bit loopy. <laughs> he is naked. <laughs> Why can't we leave him in here in this room? Maybe uh, you know, he was safe enough. Whoever, whoever got him thought he did. How'd you know the floor was was damaged like that? Oh, I spotted it on my way in. Uh, All right. Uh, How'd you do that if you were knocked out? Well, when I came in, oh, I got one of this. <laughs> Came in through the back door. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, that's the party. As that's do. the party. When I came in, I noticed there was water dripping from the ceiling. So I knew that if I went upstairs, I'd have to be careful. All right. Oh, he came in through the bathroom window. Okay. <laughs> that's why those. But as I song those bards in the in the market scene all the time. It's up to you guys. I don't know if I like someone following behind us. Why don't you just scarf it on out of here? We're uh, property appraisers, and we're <laughs> inspecting this house. Roll a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be... Ten. <laughs> Can I assist? Don't look. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so what I would like to say, yes, that's right. We're interior decorators. He's a carpenter. I'm the interior decorator, and he's the appraiser. Right. Obviously, here's my carpenter's tools. <laughs> well, and I will roll a deception check, <laughs> <laughs> or I'm assisting. So should I roll a deception check, or yeah. what should happen? I think the choice is someone could roll two dice, yeah, or both of you roll well, separately. I roll since you already rolled. Eight. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I'll just give it an advantage on the check, so yeah. whichever a roll it is comes higher. up to eleven on me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take who, who's ever is higher. Eleven. <laughs> the eleven is higher. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't look much like carpenters to me, if you forgive me for saying. I, I know I said I was from Seton, but Seton's not that far down the road. I know what goes on in Salt Marsh. Oh. <laughs> but I can well, tell you that I would get out of here. That's for sure. You wouldn't want to get crossed up in anybody's business that you don't belong in. Please, if you untie me, I can take you back to my friends at Salt Marsh and we can get you situated some other way, but I wouldn't suggest hanging around here. Mm. Well, we plan on hanging around here, so oh. things don't work out quite I'm well. going to live here. <laughs> in, in that case, I'm sure you wouldn't want me bound and gagged on the floor either. We're going to let go. Should you pat him down? First? No. But what are your thoughts on religion? I'm not getting anything on him. He's not wearing pants. Well, oh, they're green compatible. Yeah. Hey, listen. There's, pl- there's places to hide stuff on an underwear. Listen, I'll roll around on the floor. You can look all you like. In fact, I'd be very much pleased if you would help me return, get my clothes back. Well, do you know where they are? I know if you just go downstairs, there's a cloak. Um. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do like... I think as I was coming in and out of consciousness, I heard some footfalls in a few rooms down the hall. Did you hear a big scary voice? I can't say that I recall that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Judging by the looks of you, you're adventurers and you've heard some of the tales from about Salt Marsh. There's plenty of reasons not to remain here, not the least of which is to untie me. I like a good tale. What have you heard? Well, everybody's heard rumors from Salt, salt Marsh with mysterious lights out in the ocean. <sighs> Beautiful. What, are you, what rumors about this here house? 
rumors from this house have abounded for a long time. It was apparently the home of some sort of warlock or other sort of magician who was experimenting with who knows what. And you weren't worried sleeping the night here? Well, I'd heard the tales, but just like everyone else, they're just tales, and I needed shelter. It's been stormy. Can I make it, um, I'd like to just try to, does there seem like he's, like, lying to me? Can I, do I trust him? Do you I can roll a perception, perception check. Outwardly, he's, he's, um, he's, he seems genuine. Uh, there wouldn't be anything that kind of gives away his, his sort of, any sort of, like, deception or anything like that. Twelve. Well, he, yeah, he's like damn near nude and bound and gagged. So. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna cut him free. I'll get in there with a dagger and All do right, it. Dear. I'll shimmy around that water damage there and uh, and slice it. He sort of stumbles to his out. feet and he's oh. dizzy. He's like, oh, I, I don't know how long I've been there. Ow, my head. Oh, thank you for freeing me. Mm. Was there a whole, there's a hallway outside, right? I believe that, that they've taken my clothes down the hole somewhere. I'm certain I can find them. Well, we're on our way that way, too. Why don't he stick with us till we find his clothes? It's fine, as long as he walks in front of you and not me. Right, you gotta take the lead, then. All I'll right. watch after him. All right. I just, you know, I'm all level with his balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you're gonna let Ned kind of lead the way? No, 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 no. I'll lead the way. Jackabo's gonna lead the way. I'm gonna. I'll walk with Ned. Oh, thank you so much. I could probably steady myself on your arm if yeah. you don't mind. I still feel a little woozy <laughs> from the unconsciousness. Sure. I believe they're just down the hall Seems that way. A little strange. So if you'll let Ned kind of tell you where to go, he'll take yeah. you down the hall. You guys can move the pieces. Okay. Uh, do you want to go behind Elder or in the middle or what would make I'll you take up the rear. All right. <laughs> So if you move, yes, I believe it's around the corner, but perhaps one of those rooms on the left. And he'll open kind of this door so you guys can see inside. So this room is a sort of, uh, just another moldy kind of uh, <laughs> garbagey room. Uh, there's trash on the floor. There is a single uh, mattress on the floor, just that it looks beaten. It looks like it's been slept in and kind of used, so as if this is sort of a flop room or flop house. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a chest in the room. Oh, is this some, a chest? Yes. And right. some moldy, uh, some moldy clothes scattered around and maybe some, like, rotten parchment pages. Maybe your clothes are in that chest. Perhaps. <laughs> well, certainly, if you will. If you will excuse me, I'll take a look inside. What if there's, wait, what if there's treasure in that there chest? And he palms it, puts it right in his knickers. I'll go cherry. All right. He doesn't have any. Oh, yeah, I suppose he does have knickers on, doesn't he? What if the chest is trapped and he blows up? <laughs> Beat him to the mic. <laughs> what if he's the warlock and his wizard Well, you guys are arguing, he's sort of like, I don't see. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, this... This doesn't appear to be it. It just uh, seems to be more of the same clothes that are scattered around the room. Well, the those clothes pages. will do. Why don't you just put those on? I suppose it's better than nothing. So he kind of starts to pull them out, but they sort of unravel as he's lifting them out. Oh, they're like destined. Like they're moth eaten. Yeah. yeah, gross. It's like, I don't suppose this will do. But I'm certain they've got to be close by. I swear I heard footfalls. So he kind of comes back this way. <sighs> I inspect the to, fireplace. Perhaps it's across the hall there. You find nothing of note in the fireplace. We'll get the door. We'll get the door. We're looking oh, for snakes. Well, please, be, be, by all means. All right, stack up. Yeah, he forward. wants to open the door to that. Who's opening the door? Whenever you're Jack ready. Jackabo, right? Jackabo. Seriously. <laughs> Which door are we going in? This one, right? This is yes. this room here. All right. All right, pull it. Yeah. All right. Boy, I never get to do this. It's exciting. If you get the next room. Yeah. Right. Mm. Oh, that's all one big room. Right. So this is another kind of uh, this is another bedroom, and it's kind of also broken down and decrepit. There's missing floorboards in the floor, more scattered trash kind of everywhere. There is a tall wooden wardrobe there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, let watch you check this, check that this out. This looks likely less likely. It seems that wardrobe hasn't been disturbed. I'm not certainly to put my clothes in there. I'm gonna inspect it. 
I'm gonna slowly open it up. Right. I got my crossbow trained on it. All right, you see a pair of old leather boots in there and a ragged, tattered leather cloak. Uh, what appears to be patterned with coiling ivy leaves. Hmm, I'll inspect the cloak. Does it look like it's the same shit that they had before downstairs? Yeah, as you kind of reach out and open it up, a puff of yellow mold oh, in yeah. your face. <laughs> oh, so, well, oh, okay. Yeah, so let's, let's look at that. That's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how did you try to avoid it again? I was just like, <laughs> I was looking at it. You know, I wanted to look and see if it had any. I didn't want oh, to like, touch it. You didn't touch it. No, I want to inspect right, it to no see if it looks like that. You. Oh, that's fine if it does. No, no, no. I, it sprays you. How did I, you? How were you inspecting it? Well, I opened up the door. Right. And it, does it look like the thing that we had downstairs? Was it was like the same kind of cloak? Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. I'll take the, the poison damage. No, no, or, I'll, or, I'll, or I'll you can at least maybe you can roll a dexterity or something. Maybe you can, I'll make a dexterity. You know, maybe, yeah, I'll, go ahead. I'll, I'll yeah, that's the way. Let the dice decide. There we go. Uh, the roll no. of nineteen plus four, so uh, you're good. Twenty-three. Whoa! <laughs> that's the same thing that you chaps was trying on downstairs, like little lady boys. That mold is dastardly stuff. Check yeah. the boots for it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not yes, I don't touching think this might things. be it either. If you, if you wouldn't mind the trouble, I'm so, so you not in much of a hurry. But I've been barefoot this whole time, and you won't even check the boots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not checking those boots. It's right next to that moldy thing. Perhaps I could take a look in, in another one of those rooms. But maybe I'm certain that they've got to be close by. If you'll excuse me. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Sort of wanders his way down. Should grab his arm. Well, what is it? We'll How much trouble can I get into? We'll lead the way. <laughs> you seem to be the ones poking and prodding, even against my warnings. You should talk about poking and prodding when you're in your underwear. <laughs> we'll lead the way. All right. Well, if you wouldn't mind opening that door for me, this one's all right. Certainly. Who are we working for now? This guy. Yeah. Let's get him his clothes, and then he can go home. Yeah. So this is another crumbling bedroom. There's no furniture in there. Um, and this floor is obviously dangerous looking. <laughs> it's uh, not just sort of uh, water stained, but there's bunches of missing floor blo- boards. You could looks like you could easily put your foot through the floor. Um, everybody can go ahead and roll an investigation or survival check for me. Investigation for me? I am rolling very not good today. Eight. All right. 17. All right. What was it, survival or investigation? Yeah, whichever whichever oh, bonus 10. is better for you. Okay. So, uh, Gilfin and uh, Jacopo notice that there are tracks uh, leading to and from the window on the opposite side of the room. Mm. On the second floor. Mm-hmm. And I notice this is going to take forever to fix. Jacopo, do you think you could fix it with your carpentry skills? Uh... <laughs> uh. Yeah, it'd take, a, it'd take about a week, probably. I could do some work. Here. Well, then it's a good thing we have you in our church. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to replace these uh, these floorboards here. Can we ascertain what kind of tracks they are? Yeah, human? they're they're they're, they're, uh, they're humanoid uh, shoes, uh, boot tracks. Pourquoi? I have carpentry skills. Yes. Can we figure I would out? like to investigate the wood a little closer. Okay. And uh, see if this. Find the skill things for me. I think there might be something Absolutely. in there for the car- carpentry skill that might help me maybe discern if there's like a sturdier path through this room without just trudging on through and falling mm-hmm. down to the, to the bottom floor. Okay. Crafting item. All right. Well, efficiency right. 78. All right. So uh, if you have carpentry tools. I do. You can roll a d20. Okay. All right. Uh, add your uh, proficiency bonus to that. Okay. Here you go. If it beats a 10, I'll let you uh, roll. This is an obviously dangerous floor. So right. Okay. To cross it, you'll have to no. make a deck save. No, it's a... Um, I was going to say, I'll give you advantage if you if you uh, carpentry tools help you. Okay. So you won't get advantage. You'll just have to... If you want to cross the floor, you just have to make the save. It's a five. I rolled. The first. You said advantage on the roll for. You for won't this? get advantage. Okay. You have to roll your car, your skill first with a bonus and beat ten. Okay. And, and did three it. and two is <laughs> five. It doesn't beat no, ten. No. So. No. But I I do want to look at this. All right. So it's going to be dexterity. 
It's hard to it's hard to tell. We're gonna let this guy keep leading us from room to room to room. Well, I'm also gonna go. There's room. a chest I'm on going, the opposite side of the room. By I'm the going window. room to room either way. If you won't, so I will. Really. I'm um. I'd like to uh, take my uh, Wait grappling hook out. Don't you see how bad that floor looks? You'll fall right through. I know. I'm, I'm not make... talking about you. I'm talking to. Well, I'm uh, not going anywhere yep. dressed like this. I'm gonna... And I'm certainly not wearing the cloak in the other room. No. You're strong. Why don't you hold the other end of this rope for me? I'm, I'm gonna throw t- you across there. I'm going to tie the rope around my uh, waist, and I'm going to try and traverse the floor. All right, here, put the rope around. That way I won't fall so so far anyway. Okay. And then make a dex yep. save to walk across the floor? Yes, Okay. You can cross with a dex save. Bam! And that's going to be 8 plus 6. So... Fourteen? Yes. All right. All right. Yeah, you can traverse the floor. Boom, so. boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and make it another investigation check. Okay. Oh, it's a natural one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I can't see anymore. Can't see You're it. blind. <laughs> I suddenly feel blind. <laughs> Chris is like, uh, I'm gonna break your eyes now. <laughs> Spikes shoot into your eyeballs. Well, actually, this has something in involving detecting. Trust. It says build a simple investigation. You gain additional insight when inspecting areas with wooden structures. That's calligraphy applies. With wooden structures, carpenters' tools. Do you have a hard oh. time reading? It's down here at the bottom. <laughs> down here at the bottom. No, it's all this. Oh. You spot irregularities in wooden walls or floors, making it easier to find trap doors and secret passages. Um, you can quickly assess the weak spots in a wooden floor, making it easier to avoid the places that creak <laughs> and groan. Uh, with one minute of work and raw materials, you can make a door or window harder to force open, and you can make temporary shelter and you gain additional insight when inspecting areas with wooden structures because you know tricks of construction that can conceal areas from discovery. Mm-hmm. Carpenter's tools include... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I rolled a natural fucking one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fall through the floors and then you fall through the first four floors. That thing You're comes in the basement. alive and tries to yeah. eat you. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I forgot mimics were a thing. <laughs> Alright, so what do you want to do? I was going to try and open the trunk. Oh yeah, it just opens and you find a sack full of clothes. Oh, are these your clothes? Those are mine. I, saw, I said they would be here. But young Little fellow, if you wouldn't mind retrieving those from me, I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> I take my sword out and I pick the bag up like that the end of my sword. Here you go. <laughs> Are you going to just give me these clothes? Should we check the bag first? Well, I'm looking at the bag of clothes. Wait, what if it's I'm magic? going to tell it. Magical clothes. I'm going to telepathically communicate with you. Okay. How nice do the clothes look? Alan Spatter, he says that. Are there any shoes in there? <laughs> yeah, I look. There's, there's a pair of boots. Uh, does travel it, stained and worn. Does it look just like travel clothes? Yep. Or like, in for a normal degree. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing else in the bag, like he was saying. Or, well, he told me to look in the bag. No, just a sack of folded clothes. All right, I'm going to come back across. So I make dexterity again? Yep. And that's going to be 13. Yep. All right. Yep, make it safely back. And I, Oh, thank you so much for retrieving those. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you put them on. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> he just starts getting himself dressed. Well, now, I said I would aid you on your mission. Uh, what, what is it you were here to do? I, if memory serves, I believe I heard more movement around these upstairs floors. Perhaps I can help you explore some of these rooms and find out what it is you're looking for, and then we could perhaps leave. Hmm. Next thing he's going to be asking you for a weapon. Uh-huh. I'm gonna defend myself. I'm a fancy boy. So far, it sounds like only you have needed weapons, sir. Well, meanwhile, I've been sleeping peacefully upstairs here, and nothing has troubled me. Uh, you were rescued. You were knocked out. Something's well, troubled true. you. Well, my good sir, I don't know why you're so paranoid. Look at the fortune that we've had so far. You ran. You led us to three different rooms. Yes, and nothing has bothered us except for these creaky wooden floors. 
Uh, no, he's That's been true. German running around. Snakes, rats. I almost got my dick chopped, uh, <laughs> dick bitten off by some sort of a badger living in a well. A ghost threw me through <laughs> a window. <laughs> Yeah, it was a ghost, all right. His name was Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to check this door here. Let's go. All right, to the you, door. you stay near me. Okay. I'm going to check I'm the door. Keep an eye on him. Is it open? Is yeah. It locked? So, yeah, sorry. This this kind of, you can see it around, it's around a corner, and it's another oh. landing, It's another landing and, and a stairway. But the landing Does is that go up or down? Damaged. Uh, it goes up. Yeah. It goes up? Up yeah. into the attic. But what is it? Broken stairs here. That, uh, yeah, that's just some, some more like busted flooring. Okay. Can um, I inspect wait, the floor uh, here a little bit to try and dis- discern whether or not it's like the room confused, that I just tried to cross? Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. No, my, my mistake. These are stairs to the ground floor, and yes. there are stairs. There's okay. broken stairs to the attic. These okay. are stairs that are broken. These stairs go to the ground floor. You're right. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Where'd you hear those noises coming from? Well, I heard fo- I was in and out of consciousness, but I believe if we explore the rooms on the upper floor here, maybe you'll find what you're looking for. I think there were some tracks that led out of the room that I was kept in. Maybe we can pick up the trail and find them. You know, for someone who was knocked out, he sure knows a lot of stuff. Mm. Well, keep an eye on him, as they say. Both eyes. Oh, please. So dramatic. Perhaps if we can go... <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps if we can go in that room next to mine. I believe I heard muffled voices there, although it may have been you clamoring about downstairs. That's we possible. do clamor. We do clamor. I could probably uh, make those stairs a bit more um, sturdy if we want to go up there later. Yeah. Let's go check that room out. Or perhaps the voices were something else entirely. Tell me, have you heard about the great old ones? <laughs> great, great old ones? No, I can't say that it happened. Everybody roll a uh, d20 uh, investigation check, please. Oh, I'm not rolling very 13. Well. Anybody with a 10 or better sees a glinting 12. coming from the fireplace in this room that you guys have already been. I got a 7. A glinting, the one, yeah. that, the one that I inspected where there was no snakes. Yeah, on the way back. All right. Boy. What did you roll? A 12. Okay, all right. Boy, stop! Come here. Look in there. Yeah, I think see I saw that? saw like a shimmer, a shimmer. You see that? I don't appreciate you interrupting me what when I'm saw? trying to preach. Here, <laughs> here. He's Whatever. got something. Potential new follower here. Elder Green has something to tell yeah, you. Yeah. You talk to him while we check out this. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's All right. Oh, I got cherry. Now, look, everything here is trapped. I can't. My hand's too big. Look at this hand. It's as big as your head. Right. Um, yeah, on second look, you guys can uh, pass the room. You can see that there's a uh, a sort of... Uh, there's a rock sort of out of place on the fireplace and maybe something behind it. Ah, uh, all right. I can get in there. I'm small. Maybe I can help you in some way. I can hold your legs, maybe, or <laughs> is it pick too, you up. Is, to it's, it? just, it's just like down in the fireplace, yeah. right? I'm gonna go down and look. Put my hand on the back of you in case something pops <laughs> out. I can pull you back. You just be ready in case I get a pile of I snakes. I put a hand on him. Okay. If a, if a pile of snakes falls on my head, get I'm gonna pull to you back. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I right. want to do the help action, but this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm gonna try and like pry the little rock away. As you do, spiders swarm oh, no! out of the cavity. Oh, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Can I, can I, well... Oh, roll for I think I'm going to start using different dice. <laughs> it's because you're not using dice you bought yourself. I don't own anything. Spiders. I told you I was going to get a pile of creepies on my head. You saw spider sacks glistening. All right, 20 and up. No. 15 and up. 16. All right. Good for you. Uh, 10 and up. uh, Yeah, 10 and up. I'm 7. All right, what do you got, Trenton? Five. Ah, Still better than you. (laughs) You're the last. And then uh, me and you have a roll. Oh, okay. To gain a new follower. Natural one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Seven, eight. Seven, okay. 
What are the odds of that? You made it. Snake eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, red swarm of spiders. I know it's gonna be kind of flooding hard. out of that little crack. Oh no! Hey, wait, you, you can't really slash at spiders. Oh, I hate but... these things. I would stomp them. <laughs> Well, I got the two two-handed attack, so I pull out the rapier and this, this, this as Mike Brown would say, the scrimitar. What would he call it? Scimitar. Scimitar. The scimitar. Scimitar. The scimitar. All right, so I get to make. Ah. It's just one attack, right, with both hands. <laughs> no, no, you wrote. One. It's two separate attacks. All right, they're both hand. light weapons. Yes. Yeah. But he's got a few. I got, don't, yeah, I got, oh, oh, I got, I got, I got two, two weapon fighting. When you engage in two weapon fight, you can use, you can add the ability modifier to both damage. Didn't okay. you take, didn't you take a dual wielder as well as a feat at yes. level one? You can draw on stone two weapons per round. You can dual wield non-light weapons and you gain plus one to AC while dual wielding. There you go. Very cool. So, but I still only get one to attack with, so I'll just use the rapier. Well, you got to roll to hit first. Oh yeah, you're right. Good call. <laughs> I guess it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a week. So it's gonna be uh, twelve. That's a hit. All right. Just there's one. Your, there's your ripe, yeah. Okay. One damage. Oh no no! I'm sorry. Oh. Just making sure I roll everything right. Ten. Right. Oh yeah. Seven eight. Nine, I added the three. It really was a five. So yes. So ten. Okay. And now you make a second attack with your offhand. Okay. But you got to roll to hit. Be seven. You got to oh. roll to hit. Oh, I got to roll to hit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that, now that's going to be 17. It hits. Nice. And then that's going to be eight. All okay. right, I think I got it now. Thank so you got you, it. What I had like no when wrong. you strike the swarm with your weapons? I'm trying to stay away from the little guy. I, I'm, I really want to try to use the bottom of my, my swords because I'm trying to smash them. Yeah, <laughs> so each hand kind of like right. you know, with the butt of the right. weapon them them. smashes them. Okay, into the Neast. pile. Yeah, you, you smash a bulk of the uh, the spiders that are coming out of the hole there. Nice. So uh, go ahead, uh, uh, Jacopo. Jacopo, all right. Now I am going to go about this because they're right on me. I'm going to draw my dagger. I'm going to try and smash them with I don't know, that's not going to be good. Uh, well, that's 10. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Not going to do it. Nope. Alright, but uh, in response though, a few of them leap at you. What's your AC? I have it written down. Uh, uh, 16, right? 16. Alright. Oh well, no! Yeah, so a, couple, a couple of them sort of latch on to you. Ones and 20s. And uh, <clears throat> you're going to take two damage. Okay. Okay. All right, go ahead then. Uh, we've got the Elder Green. Elder Green. Okay, so um, my attempts at converting him are interrupted by the shouting. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, we'll continue this later. Oh, <laughs> and I push I by. That's interesting. And I push by. <laughs> and um, I am going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast. Is that what it's called? Eldritch Blast. There we go. Eldritch Blast. That'll blow them all apart. With a 10... Plus what? What do I add to that? Anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. five. Okay. Yep, that's um, gonna hit. 15 to hit. All right, so then I'm going to search up Eldritch Blast here. 10 for damage. I'm not sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. A D10 then. It's like having a heavy crossbow. Four damage. Four plus. All right. Do I add to that? No. Oh, well, no. you're not level two yet, that, I'm sorry. That, uh, that finishes them off, so what does it look like? <gasps> okay, then, um, well, then, I, very annoyed by the shouting interrupting me, I just <laughs> walk through the door, roll my eyes that they're fighting spiders yet again, and I blast them with um, a beam of crackling energy that sends them flying all over the room, and the few remaining spiders scatter around. And I say, that's a good sign. They'll keep the mosquitoes down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they all scatter away. D and D property investigators. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, uh, property appraisers. <laughs> that's why I'm here. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> you get bit, Jackable? Oh, a little bit. Uh, looks I heard like... you ever heard of uh, wear spiders? You could maybe be a wear spider now. He's that sounds awesome. That's not an awesome thing. Right. Spinning webs. I don't want to be shooting webs. I don't want to be shitting <laughs> silk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I had to get you checked out by a voodoo priest. <laughs> and that kind of wanders around the corner and says, well, fellows who are easily distracted right now. We're cleansing this place. No. Oh. Well, certainly could use a good cleansing. I, again, I... I venture to wonder why anyone would want to. I mean, have you seen the state of disrepair? Tell him. Uh, Elder will tell you why he wants a house. I need this house for my congregation. Yes. I was telling you yes. about our god earlier. Very interested. Um, Very and interested. I don't think it's in that much disrepair. Just a little bit of elbow grease and hard work will get this place cheap shop. I have some friends in Seaton probably got nicer abodes than this one. Perhaps even a more fair value than what you've been offered for it. Oh, I've been offered it for completely free. Oh, well, so they can't be. <laughs> Which is that. right in my price range. You see, he looks like extra dismayed when, uh, that he can't, like, uh, hook you up with this. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Free. Oh. You stayed here for free because you didn't want to pay for a motel. Well, that's certainly the case. You're. I want to poke my uh, dagger back into that hole and try and get it open again. Yeah, there are three crystals in there that are kind of wrapped in, uh, looks like um, like lead, uh, like wiring maybe, and okay. they look like they're uh, counterweights for scales that are used in alchemical work. So. Oh, okay. Three crystals. Yep, they're uh, valued at ten silver pieces. What color are Five silver crystals. pieces, I'm sorry. They're like quartz, kind of clear, okay. a, little, like, a little white around it. I'm just going to write the treasure down on my stuff. Yes. We can just put this up later. Right, I need Three. money, yo. I need money, Jeremy. We oh. came here for treasure. We wanted some. I mean, yeah, we could at least... What's our new friend's name? Uh, Ned. Ned. These will probably catch a good price. We can drink forever on this. I got Well, this will last us till Thursday. Ned Shake Shaft. <laughs> I got a family to feed. <clears throat> Right. Wait, your name's what? You keep saying Ned it. Shakeshaft. Ned Shakeshaft naked in my house. <laughs> I've never met That's what I'm writing down. Oh boy. I've never met his family. I don't think he has a family. <laughs> well, if anybody ever looked like a Shakeshaft to me, it's him. He's a, sh- a Shakeshaft shifter. He's a Shaq <laughs> Those Shakeshafts are shifty. I can't hear. He uh, starts shifting his shake shaft this way. Okay. <laughs> what if you're quite done digging for treasure? Ha! <laughs> ha! This way. I've <laughs> done a good job of watching after him. He's kind of getting on my nerves. Why don't he just scarf her off? Oh, I see. To take the treasure from us. I say fuck him and go to the other door. Maybe he'll get eaten by a spider. A were spider. Please don't make me. Don't remind me. I've seen a wear spider. I might rub Huge. an ointment on my spider bite. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just like a man except for shoots webs. That sounds horrid. That's funny. I like that. All right, let's follow him. I don't want him getting any his hands on any of that treasure before we do. Bam, bam, bam. Well, I waited yet patiently for you. Perhaps I can open the door this time, my friend. Yeah, why don't you open the door this time? Very well, then. <laughs> sort of reaches out, opens it, kind of looks at you deliberately like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> More water damage. Damn it. Uh, you guys can roll a d20 investigation check here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um... What do you think, Shake Shafter? I got 11. Stone. Okay. And I think I got the highest? Yeah, Seven. I, got, I got natural one. Yeah, Elder Green notices that uh, that the tracks do indeed continue uh, from the other room into here and uh, lead out to that window, so... More water damage, and somebody has been tracking up the floors. And this is easily avoidable, too. You guys can walk around like... I'll say it's easily avoidable. They could have just taken their shoes off when they came in like I did. <laughs> I'll walk over to the window then safely and look out the window and see where these tracks might be leading. All right. Uh, Ned's going to follow kind of behind you there. Anybody else going into the room? Yeah, stay with us. All right. But watch out. I hear battle music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Never turned that off today. <laughs> it's all right. All right. All right, I'm gonna keep so it. You guys are kind of like walking towards following the tracks of the room, and then Ned kind of is overcome with a fainting spell again, and he kind of collapses backwards on you, old shanty. Uh, so, 
he kind of teeters you onto that weakened floor. People okay. often react this way when I deliver my sermons. It's not <laughs> uncommon. Make, a, uh, make that, de- that, that dexterity save. That's 20, not natural 20. I got okay. it. Oh, it's, it's his. It's just I him, thought, yeah. So he kind of falls fall into your hands, and uh, you do stumble and take a step through. Your foot goes through Arr. the floor, but uh, you were able to prop him up as he kind of faints and, and balance and right yourself. So, oh, ter- terribly sorry. Is that ever? Nope, not sure exactly what's come over to me, but I, it must be the headache. Why don't oh. you sit down? I'm going yes, to I am, Crow. Oh, the faster I can get... <laughs> Perhaps there's some more of that mold in the air, but the faster that we could leave, gentlemen, I, I certainly would appreciate an escort back to town. <laughs> you can wait for us outside if you like. Oh, but really, you leave me in such a state. I'm surprised. I thought you gentlemen were decent. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I've, never, I've never been called a gentleman before, that's for sure. I like to continue my way to the window. Okay. He sort of like, he sits on the floor, kind of yeah. over here. And I'll just look and see. So the tracks, what do they look like? Human tracks? Yep. Footprints? Yep. Shoes? Yep. Or a brief? Man, yeah, shoes, boots. Okay, yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Could be anybody. Could be brigands. So, you're at the window. Roll, a, roll another investigation check for me, please. 22, or 21. All right, you see that the windowsill dust and the glass have been disturbed. So, where the other w- windows were sort of like grimy with right. mold and dirt uh, from the house... This one appears to have been like kind of like shimmied out, you know. Yeah. And you see that um, the markings of some heavy object have been repeatedly placed and removed from from the sill. There's scratch marks on it, okay. and the dust is disturbed. You sure, you didn't come in through the window last night. I told you I I came in through the, the back door. All right. Hmm. I call Gilfin over here and I show him what I've what I've got. You stay. I'll go over there too. <laughs> oh, someone's been in this room doing that yeah, recently. Do you think that he might be that were spider you were talking about? It's quite possible. They look like humans, act like humans. You almost think they're humans. I don't think it's a were spider. Well, There's something very fishy going on here. Until he joins the congregation, I think we better be careful just in case. Hopefully, whoever it was hasn't already taken the treasure out of the house. They didn't find those quartz crystals, though. Those are mine. Let's go. This guy's going to slow us down. Well, he doesn't seem to be too keen on leaving either. So where are you going? We're going to go to the next room over. The next one over? Okay. Yeah. Will you move our miniatures over there oh, so just we can see? Moving along again, eh? Well, all right, I suppose. You better keep up. I did say I would help you. And he follows you <laughs> in. Can I get the door checkable? I'll get the door. <clears throat> and open this door. This is another nondescript room. I want to investigate the floorboards so right. it's easy to walk yep, on. Go ahead and roll that D20. And that's going to be a 11. All right. Uh, yeah, the room is uh, crumbling and in disrepair, but the floor looks sound. Okay. I want to check um, the fireplace for traps. <laughs> All right, roll a d20, please. No, five that time. You don't find anything tricky. Well, I'm going to look into it. Okay. Look into the fireplace and don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Uh, you can roll an investigation. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe my green dice this time. Natural one. <laughs> You know, Every fucking anything. both times I rolled that thing as a natural one. I'm going to stick my hand in there and try and look up the chimney. I don't feel anything or see anything. No snakes or spiders fell on my head. That's <laughs> good. I'm going to go over to the window and see if there's any more of those weird tracks. This window doesn't appear to be disturbed in the way that the other one was. Is there anyone out in the yard? There is not anyone out in the yard. Okay. <laughs> Standing in the yard staring up at you. Man, this room's empty too. I'm going to start looking around to see if there's any maybe uh, loose floorboards or something in here. That there are some loose boards, but it just seems I mean, that... Nothing seems mm-hmm. to be like a, there might be something. I'm going to go in there. You need to see the floor below. You know what I was thinking about this room? This could be where the elders sleep. It is very sound, and I think it'll be safe for a while. Some of the other rooms seemed nice as well. <laughs> You're pricked. Anyway, nothing in here, boys. Let's, let's move it on out. Let's go down the hall there and see what that last door's got it in. 
think you're just jealous because you're not an elder yet. So we're going to move on down here. All right. Yeah. And then, it's, it's so there while we're walking. So, Ned, what happened to you back there? You almost threw me from the, uh, to the floor. Oh, I must have had a spell. I, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I don't mean to be in anyone's way, certainly. I, I encourage uh, you to move along. What's the spell? Hey? What's the spell? Oh, a sort of a, dizzy a moment. Spell. A fainting spell. A, a faint, yes. Do you have them often? I can't say as I've had them all the time, but often enough to know that uh, something's not quite right with me. I'm not feeling well. You just here in the house or Sounds in general? Like a weird I fought like this you. before. Perhaps I'm becoming ill. I'm not certain. It could be the mold and things, the dust that you've all stirred up with. <coughs> Tramping. <coughs> You all right back there? Did I see you? Yes, I'm so sorry. We'll be fine as soon as we're done exploring. Is it done? Is, is it turning into a weir spider? <laughs> no, I don't believe so. I, 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 I seem to have only four six. limbs. So why don't you open the door this time? Weir spider looks like a man. Don't look like a spider. That's how you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you got a good story about weir spiders. Well, I have met a few in my time. You'll have to tell me about it. Why don't you open the door there, Ilda? And then I'll watch, I'll watch with Cherry and make sure there's no one back there. Absolutely. All right. right. I'll open the door. This is going to be his office. <sighs> oh, well. Now this is definitely... Another bedroom for your, for your eldest. A spare room, just yes. in case we get any visitors. Yep, this is uh, exactly what it is. So fireplace and bed there. Uh, this one's a little bit nicer than some of the rooms that you've seen before. That scary voice that told us welcome to our doom. That's certainly, certainly nothing scary about none of this. I no, perhaps it was even a trick of the wind. I know I've been places where I've heard the wind blow and it sounded like voices speaking. <laughs> We're no wind, mate. It well, if you're in a certain of mindset, and perhaps you're anticipating being frightened. <laughs> I can see how that could be the case. I hmm. jump up on the bed and start jumping on it. Oh. Yeah, it kind of collapses under your weight. <laughs> you can make a dexterity save to see if you can land on your feet. Nope. No. Yeah, I kind of just tumble off. <laughs> that looks comfy. Well, you're a carpenter. You can fix it. I don't know if you can fix that, mate. This wood's no good. Need a good oak Seriously, foundation. Seriously, for a question why any of you would want to remain here. Hey, look, look mate. We came here with a purpose. And you, we're not just going to go home and forget it, forget that purpose just because you lost your pants. Well, I believe the only place you haven't peeked into yet is the attic. So if you <laughs> wouldn't mind getting on with it, then perhaps we can get on. In with the it. We attic, are going this there. place is so nice. I Three whole the stories. Plates for snakes. All right, go ahead and roll a uh, search for snakes. Twenty. <laughs> Yay! Seven. <laughs> Nothing pops, pops out at you. Yeah. All right. Nothing. No snakes in this chimney here, boys. Or Listen. spiders. The number of fireplaces in this house, I'm seeing a really nice place. I have been living under a bridge for about a year, though, so <laughs> maybe I'm biased. Help me carry some of these broken uh, pieces of wood from the bed over to the attic. Please. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, so you're going to lift some pieces of like, yeah. broken you wood. Yeah, let me take some wood Dad over give here. Your okay. hand? Yeah, everybody carry some wood. Right, yeah, very well, here. yes, sure. I'm going to inspect the broken stairs here. It doesn't seem safe, does it? Uh, you you feel confident that it, you could bridge it with the, the the pieces of bed that, and you could stably get up there I'm without take having to make any kind here. of fucking craziness. Why don't you guys talk amongst yourselves while I'm nailing some wood in here and trying to repair the stairs just a little bit. Take, take a good minute. Um, mm-hmm. Of you to do that, uh, I think we're here for it's a, I can build a, a shrewd wooden structure with a DC of ten. Okay. Yeah, according to that book. Yeah, it's not. It's a twenty. Two done deal. You got yourself a nice, uh, easy to navigate staircase. And how long did it take? Good. It's like about a minute of work. It said. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, nail some boards to it and prop it up in just the right spots where. It, I'm like Rocket oh. Raccoon, like jumping around, like. Da, 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 Look at that! Our greenies already making. That kind of uh, gives it a shake. Of, well, call me surprised. <laughs> Perhaps this is the right thing for you guys to fix. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, Mike. All right, All so right. you guys are gonna enter we're the gonna, attic. We're gonna enter the attic. All right, kind of climb through what appears to really be like uh, just like. Um, a big hole in the floor. There's not, it doesn't look like there was a proper door covering for the attic that's attached anymore. Um, yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
it, see that it's kind of just littered with trash and, and uh, upstairs and not anything um, specifically good or anything. I don't have a oh, room. Oh. Fuck. There's a generic one, yeah. There's a, in the book. Or we can use those theater tiles of mind. that I have theater up there. Yeah, no. I was gonna say. No such I'm thing as theater of mind. I have those tiles from Crystal Strahd, and I think I had like a, a room that might work as an attic. Yeah, I might have some tiles. Here real quick. Sorry, guys. It's all right. I forgive you. We can talk to each other. Just sure. make it. Uh, oh, you're whenever. Yeah. We'll make it this space. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah. Everybody's up here. Yeah. There's some lovely, yeah, there. Ned, lovely Ned, stairs. Ned's gonna stay downstairs. Oh. If it's all the okay. same to you, I'd rather not. Yeah, we're up here. Alright. You're missing out? This place looks really nice. Maybe somebody should stay with me. Oh, well, as you enter up into the attic, right, never mind, I won't. three sturges drop from the ceiling and start buzzing around. If we had enough spiders, this wouldn't be a problem. Oh no! Look at all them spiders! Who has some initiative? Uh, uh, Sturges! 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 Oh, ooh, I rolled well for once! <laughs> Here, but look at that little beauty! <laughs> Alright, 20 and up. I think I'm on good. I think I'm gonna uh, have 20. 20. Alright. 15 and up. You rolled a 16. Alright. Plus 4. Oh. 15 and up, Trenton? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I actually... Sorry, I was looking at his thing. That's I rolled okay. a 16. I got All a 16. Right. So you and me will have a roll-off here. Oh, Ray. Eight. All right, I got a two. So I'm in the bag. Ooh. Sturges go laced. Laced. All right, so... Yakapo. Oh, yes. I'm gonna uh, try and blast these things with the cherry. Got to them. Man! Every time I do a combat roll, it's not checking out. Um, yeah, it's not gonna hit probably because it's a uh, roll three and it's yeah, nine. Uh, no, that does not hit. No, definitely not. How high are the ceilings in here? Uh, they are, they are low ceilings, like six feet high. So, so, so we be able to get with the swords? Yes, yes. So okay. I kind of have to stoop, but they're kind of in your face. So. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't know if they'd be out of my range. Nope. Okay. All right, then you're done. <laughs> Oh yeah, I only right. get one attack. So yeah, your turn, Gilfin. Just try to just get right in the middle. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So that's gonna be um, twenty-one. That is. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one in the middle. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. That's gonna be ten. All right. What's that slashing like? damage? What's that look like? Well, oh, he just brings his uh, his rapier out. <laughs> Which I haven't named yet, but I should. And just whoosh, runs into the Zoro Z. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, that one oh, collapses. Yeah. First, and I'll just angle to the oh, no, other no, no, one no. then. Okay. Blood. I got first blood. Thank That's you. eleven. That hits. All right. It's gonna be um, seven points slashing damage right, to the centaur. And that one that closes down too. Um, ah, the rum's out of my system now. One more kind of drops from the ceiling. Ah, the rum's back in my system now. <laughs> All right, Elder Green, Eldritch Blast. Which one? Which one? Next one. All right. All right. That's gonna be thirteen. That hits. Hooray! Ooh. Eight damage. All right, and that one. What's that look like? Um, I shout at him. This house is claimed for the congregation of the great old ones. And I shoot it. <laughs> and it goes down. And that sturge kind of swoops down uh, to land on your shoulder there, Red. Right, right. See if he, he makes it so. Yeah, a little uh, sucky suck. Here, let's see. Is 15. 15. Uh, it does not get it. It's got no. Kind of buzzes over your head. And now we're back to the God top of the floor. With uh, <laughs> Jacopo. Wow. That's a little better than three, but god damn it, I'm not rolling higher than ten. You're high enough. Uh, let's see, it's uh, eight, uh, it's uh, uh, a fourteen. That hits. Okay. Yep. Take my crossbow cherry here. Yeah, and uh, it's oh. gonna be uh, eleven. If it's more than two, you got him. So All right. <gasps> I got him for you. Crossbow bolt goes through it. 
And it flies against the wall <laughs> and sticks it into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have these carcasses of your uh, slain uh, Sturges lying about there. And kind of back up with a spooky, spooky trash-laden a- attic. Well, let's look around for that treasure. High five. Praise them. Oh, natural okay. twenty. Hooray! Perception. Yep. Perception, perception. Sweet, red, glittery dice came through. And six. unnatural 20. Six. Okay. So we're going to keep the same initiative order. Oh. And uh, you with your 20s. Uh, so we got Dance Jacopo off. notices. And then Gilfin, at the last second, you notice... That Ned's about to strike you from behind with a dagger. From behind, bro? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, he tried to sneak up on you and get you. Uh, <gasps> so the fight, conti- the fight continues. <laughs> I gave you the option of escaping, and now you will not escape with your lives! Hooray! <laughs> I knew this is a bastard. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'm starting to like you. Alright, so, uh... I went last. Yeah, started, so it's so gonna be Red's turn. Red's turn. Uh, So that's at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 hits. Alright. Just instinctively turns with the sword. Uh, that's going to be 11 point slashing damage with the rapier. Alright. Oh, goodness. And then 10. With his, with his offhand. Does not. Okay. What are you doing? He slashes into him. Right. He kind of didn't even know that he was doing it. But then he sees a dagger in his hand. Yep. He's like, oh. Of course, I heard him say he gave me an opportunity to leave. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, Elder, he gave you clothes. Elder Green. <laughs> you, just, uh, you just witnessed that shake shaft uh, try and stab your friend there. Uh, even though you didn't see it coming, you're aware of it now. Well, then, I'm just going to More use. Friends. This is great. My signature move in Eldritch Blast. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be eleven to hit. That does not hit. Okay. Oh. Um that was a warning shot because you seem nice. Eat <laughs> 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 him! Alright, so Ned's gonna kinda hit out of the way of your dagger there. Uh, and he's gonna follow up with a uh, attack of his own. Uh, he's got a short sword that he's wielding, so he's Where just gonna did he keep... get this short sword. It was in his butt cheeks. Oh. I don't know where he was hiding that. <laughs> Probably right. Uh, yeah, you can only assume where he got it. Like, uh, <laughs> fighting Sturges in the attic. But uh, uh, he's yeah. going to uh, go ahead and swing at uh, yes. Gilfin there. 15. Uh, your armor's class is 15. Yes. He does not hit. And then he's going to follow up with a second backhand swing again at you again. Uh, and this one doesn't hit either, so he's... It's only, it's only, a very good it's only 15 when I got the two swords. Right, that's right. So. Mm-hmm. Yep, I got that in my notes. All right. All right. Uh, who's next? It's uh, Jacopo. All right. Oh, I'm gonna try and thread the needle with this boy. All right. Uh, and that's gonna be higher than twelve, eight, ten, finally. And it is a total of eighteen to hit. That hits. Okay. Crossbow. Ten damage. All right. Slink. Uh, start reloading. <laughs> so where did you take that shot? Right here. I'm, I'm here, and I, so I just kind of... Well, where does he take it on his body? I just kind of try to get him in the torso. Kind of whip around yeah. and then... Yeah, <laughs> trying to get him right in the torso. Right I'm, shooting, I'm, shooting, I'm shooting up at him at an ang- up angle. Yeah. yeah, he makes a feeble attempt to deflect it with his short yeah. sword. Oh, I imagine it's like, bolt in the, it's in like the, the classic, like, oh, right there, you know, in the ribs. Gilpin, your turn. We should take him alive. I agree. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Okay. Oh, that hits. And he even... I want to chop his leg off. Okay, you got it. I'm going to try, I mean. Yeah. So with the first attack... Oh, it's a double, right? So it's six. It's 11. 12, 13, 14. 14 points. You can damage. end him or chop his leg off and leave him unconscious. I want to chop his... Well, I want to I wanna knock him out. Well, do you want lethal damage. I'm saying you can call your shot here. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. 
Okay. So, but, but I, said, want to I, said, I said I wanted to remove his leg, so I chopped his leg off. All right, That's what take, I said. You sweep his leg out from under him, and he hits his head on the ground, and he's out. I knew it. I didn't trust him. You were right, mate. Now you lose a leg. Where do you get that Where's sword? That? Nice. I don't even have a sword. I want to inspect the sword. Is it nice? <laughs> well, all right. He was a traitor. Yeah, so you guys were just betrayed by Ned Shakespeare, and uh, you got the better of him. I'll so pick up his uh, little sword because okay. I want to put it away. I don't want to be able to get back yep. to it. He's disarmed. I wanted to inspect that sword. Is it pretty? Here, I give it to Jack. And he's missing a leg and he's bleeding out, so you might not have too much time. Well, yeah, we're doing this way. He's going to do something else. I would like to try to using my medical knowledge to okay. stop the bleeding so okay. that he's not going to bleed out and die. All right. Yeah. Would you like well, me to make like a medicine check or something? Yes, please. Certainly. We'll see how this goes. A nine. Amputation time. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, like, you staunched the bleeding for a little while, but not permanently, so you, you bought him some time. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Pick him up, Jackable. Is this like, uh, blade look like an old rusty blade or like a... His short like sword a, is a fancy sword. Ah, uh, it's not fancy. No, it's it's, it's not to, old or rusty either. Somewhere wanna, in the middle. Okay, like, yeah. it's it is a a, a well used sword, but not one that was laying destitute in this house. Yeah, basically. you would, you would be like um, I don't want to. Uh, like was it in a garage no, shed or no, something it, like that? It, you know what yeah, I mean? Okay, no, so it's something that he's been it's his, using. It's he's probably been stashed using. somewhere okay. in the house. Yeah. Cool. All right. So it's a at least well kept for a uh, sword. Yeah, I'm handing it back to you. Because you can have it. I don't need one. You need one. You can have it as a spare weapon. Here you go. I'll wake him up. Short sword. Yeah. Um, I go and get my trusty pail of water and I pour it on his face. All right, so he comes to. He's sputtering the water. <laughs> we did water. Ah, he screams in pain. We waterboard him. Ah, <laughs> what? What was my leg? Ah, you took my leg. You haven't exactly been truthful with oh. us, Ned. Oh. 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 I want to make sure I restrain him, too, okay? Oh. Oh. I don't think he's going anywhere. Oh. It's one leg. Oh. Oh. Fucking can't do nothing! Yeah, right. Spits at your fun. feet. <laughs> and you notice the spit's kind of, like, bloody. Because mm. he had that gut wound. Oh, no, he didn't have that gut wound. I hit him in the... I hit him yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah. did have that gut wound. Yeah. The so, air, Ned, do you care to tell us why you're actually here, Mr. Shakeshaft? <laughs> Fuck you! Ooh. <laughs> I take my crossbow bolt out of his ribs. <laughs> Shit. Wipe that off. <laughs> Fuck, I know better I than to say anything. You should have just left like I told you. You're going to tell us why you wanted us to leave and what you're protecting here. Because I told me here. to scare you off, you fucker. What are you protecting here? What are I you hiding? Know. I was just told to run interference, kill you if I had to, and scare you if I could. Who told you that? I'll tell you what, I'll take your other I'll take your other leg. <laughs> Just end me and be merciful about it. No, I'll let you live long. Why well, I won't tell you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I light a torch. <laughs> hey, ladies. Mm. I think maybe it's time to intimidate him a little bit. What do you think you were doing with that? I told you, I don't know. Quarterizes wound. Oh, all right, you want to? Yeah, stick yeah, right. the torch you can into roll his that bloody nub. He, roll that heal check. Oh, I wasn't trying to heal. I'm just trying to stick yeah, that know. into his thing. Okay, yeah. so ro- roll a... Yep. Roll something. It's a 12. Good idea. <laughs> wound. Okay. But what would it be? Uh, so, I'm not really... No, no, no. I just you try do, to hurt you, him. You, well, you, you, you do <laughs> try to hurt him, but you, you used a medical procedure, and yeah. <laughs> you cauterized the wound instead. All right. <laughs> oh, Everybody <laughs> screams, Ah! Yeah, and he passes more. back out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he passed out. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to wait for him. He obviously got more. hired by somebody. He knows. You collect from someone. Well, what do we do with him? Drag him downstairs? I'd like to question him further. Yeah, well, drag him downstairs is more comfortable than the eh? eye. Well, we gotta make a threat that will make him talk. We gotta do something. Let's put him in a bed. I can probably oh, coerce sorry. the truth out of him. Let's try that first. Put him in a fireplace full of spiders. Take him and throw him in this nasty old bed. Okay. And I will sit by his bedside and wait for him to wake up. He comes to. Ah, oh, fuck, still here, ah! Right? <laughs> <laughs> 
probably should have took his clothes off too. Now, <laughs> <laughs> that does not seem. Naked man can't hide anything. Now, Ned, mm. I would really love to help you. I mean, these two would love nothing more than to torture you for the next few hours. I'm just sharpening it. Possibly for the next few days, who knows? But I would like to help you. And this can take a long time, or we can let you go free. <coughs> you can live to see another day. All you have to do is tell us the truth. We won't have long. I might as well get out of here. I wasn't kidding. Prime Water sent me. He says, scare him off, rough him up, kill him if you have to. Hey, Prime Water's a good dude. I don't believe you. I'll tell you, Prime Water sent me. He has no reason to lie. They didn't want you dead, but you're dumb. So I had to try and scare you off, kill you if it didn't work. Prime Water's an important man. He's a nice enough guy, but he's in over his head. Hmm. He is on the city council. Ned, I'm going to offer you one last escape. And I'll offer you one. This town will grind you up and spit you out. Leave like I told you. Leave me to die if you got to. Hmm. I will let you live if you join my congregation. <laughs> join right. my congregation and you will live forever. I had that promise before. <clears throat> so you won't join... <laughs> Final joint cut me free out of <laughs> Okay. You're not really gonna enjoy, let him join the church, are you? <sighs> I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on him. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> um. I, do I have to roll to hit? No. Okay. I kill him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've sent another of our followers to meet the great old ones. <laughs> so the blood, like, like his head explode, like fucking Pulp Fiction is like all over me. I'm like, oh, shit, you could have told me to get out of the wire. Yeah, holy smoke. Gosh, shame. I, like half of them all over me. I thought we were going to maybe talk to Maury. Oh, no, <laughs> need to find out what he was going to get paid. <laughs> could have propped him up. Pretended like he was still alive or if he had met Met his carrier, courier, whatever. Oh, it's a burning bed. He shot Ned right in the face. I <laughs> <laughs> see his head come apart. Now, he worked for Prime Water. Yeah, Prime said Prime a good sent dude. Him, yeah. Prime Water is a good dude. He's a good dude. That's Just what we say. But he was sent to stop us. Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't see any treasure in this house. I'm very disappointed. Ah, oh, he found a sword. It could have been under a floorboard or something. Maybe there's treasure hidden. We still haven't searched the basement yet. Well, let's go down there and look. Well, if we find someone tied up, we just immediately kill him there. Right. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Or we talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> we don't untie him. Well, no. No, we leave him, leave him tied up and... Yeah, maybe put a crossbow bolt through his knee so he can't venture anymore. All right, let's head on downstairs then. I didn't find anything in these rooms. So um, I'm going to walk over here. <coughs> and I'm going to go back downstairs yep. the way he came up. When you guys are going down the stairs, I'm going to, like, instead use a rope to climb down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Practice my skills. Got to stay sharp. It's very impressive. <laughs> Let's go back down to the first floor. So I would like to um, drag the corpse out. Okay. Really? Yeah. This is my house. And it's, and it's, <laughs> and it's headless. Now its leg is not leaking gore and blood and shit anymore, but its its neck hole is for sure. Why not just destroy that whole room? I mean, the bed was broke. He jumped all over it. And, uh, now it's, you're never going to get those stains out. <laughs> You'd be surprised what you can do with a little bit of baking soda. <laughs> um, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to take him and throw him out the front door. Okay. So I'll just, I'll bury him way. later. Oh boy. There we go. It's not going to be good for the resale. Oh, we I didn't see a, um, a graveyard when we came in, did we? No. Okay, I don't think so. We'll start one. Yes. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna head over to that basement. So you guys coming with me. Um, I'm just going to say, I am so glad that he was able to join our congregation before he passed. He's been saved. Too right, mate. Too right. Well, let's go. <laughs> you could join as well. <laughs> I've seen the touch of Cthulhu. I don't know if I liked it. So I like you're going to go in, into the kitchen and then into this uh, yes. sort of trapdoor area, right? Yes. What okay. order are we going to go in? Who's got dark vision? Nobody here, right? Nope. Well, it's, uh, you do. No, I don't. I am a halfling. No, they, no don't. they don't. I think they do. No, they I, don't. No, do. I learned that the other night when we were playing. Two DMs Strive. agree. They don't. <laughs> Two out of three gnomes agree. <laughs> gnomes got it. Yeah, gnomes got it. Yeah. Oh, buddy, no. You're just stealthy. You're you're, you're light footed. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Why don't someone hold a torch so we can see though? And I'll use cherry. Well, that's fine. I'll hold a torch then. All right. Damn being a human. Damn <laughs> humans. All right. We go downstairs. Damn us. Yeah, I'll, use, <laughs> I'll uh, pull from my backpack one of my torches. Okay. Light it up. Oh. All right, so you guys want to line yourselves up. So in that case, there I'm going already. one-handed. Sword. So that's what we got. All right. I'm, but I am going to keep the, the re- rapier out. So I you, can, you can make an attack with your... Torch. It's a good look, I think. All right, we'll see. Where's the player's handbook? Here it is, right here. So you open the trap door, and I then you can. <laughs> oh my! You hear that same warning from before. So it wasn't Ned. It wasn't. We were incorrect in assuming that that was him. Oh yeah. Did you notice that Ned changed voices when he turned into an asshole? <laughs> it was all prim and proper. He's very... He started using swear words. Oh, yeah, that was sailor mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we would have wanted him in our congregation long anyway. Right. So what do you want to do? <clears throat> Go down the stairs? Go yeah, yeah, down the okay. stairs. There's nothing so you got your You got your torches lit? I got one torch lit, yes, sir. See down the stairs... The torch burns for one hour. Provided bright light in 20 foot radius and dim light for another 20. Okay. If you make a melee attack with a burning torch and hit, it deals one fire damage. Alright. One fire damage. One fire right, so damage. This is gonna be good. Oh. Yeah, bring it on. A little weird. Because it's orientated a little bit different than what you're used to. Yeah. So you're gonna come down that first room. There. Remove this. Yes, please. You can take all of them. Thing. Yep. So that's yeah. good to know about torches. If you ever need to uh, create fire damage and you don't have any capability, you can use a torch. And there's your corresponding staircase then if you want to get a marching order. Great. And as the light from your torch <coughs> shines in there... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> you see that it's a, uh, a wine cellar. There oh. are shoulder height bottle racks along the walls. All the bottles seem shattered. And there are two uh, large metal storage bins. Um, at the foot of the stairs, and there is a <coughs> male, a plate male wearing a human corpse <coughs> with a long sword and shield at the bottom of the stairs as well. Okay, so he's in plate plate armor. Yes. Oh wow. So okay, so ready to roll, ready to roll play. Good. We are. I wanted to make sure. He's are we still level one? Yes. <clears throat> yes. All right. I am going to say, oh my god, a wine cellar. This is so lucky. <laughs> I'm getting the urge to drink. Roll a, uh, everybody roll a uh, investigation check for me, please. Natural 20. Four. Shh, nice 12. You I see think I end up with that some of the footprints from earlier uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the house lead to uh, an alcove sort of at the <clears throat> they kind of go around these metal containers mm-hmm. and they sort of end right there and uh, Red or uh, Gilfin notices an outline of perhaps a, a secret door a bit of dust over there hey when you cut them free how tight were those bombs 
the Ned fellow? Yeah, Ned fellow. Oh, I don't know. DM, how how tight would you say Ned's, Ned's bonds were when I cut them? How tight were they? Yeah, were they like loose or? I was, <laughs> they were tight enough to restrain him for reals. So he okay. couldn't have done that to himself. There's no, he was really tied else. up. Someone tied yeah. him up. Yeah. Someone else got to be here, but he someone working with him. Might be, yeah, because uh, these footsteps, these these footprints here, they were the same ones he that might, I saw up there. In the he might even have done something. Attic. Or the second floor. To lead them to believe that we're here. Warn them. Might be. We should be extra careful. <clears throat> Wait. What's that there? And I point over in this direction. It's a bottle of Merlot. <laughs> what did they keep in those metal containers? I don't know, but maybe we should look at that. Deadman there and see if he's got anything bad on you. I figured if I stood oh. somewhere in the middle of the room, I could illuminate. Let him think about it. I could just stand here and illuminate for you guys. I'm going to look at the dead body and see if he's got anything valuable on him. Besides plate mail and a nice sword and shield. Too bad you're a dexterity fighter. That would be your dream come true right there. sell it. Or make a profit. Off this you're, you're investigating his body? Yeah. In what way? I want to, you know, pilfer his. Uh, he's got any pouches or anything? Anything got anything? Wait, other? is it kind of picked through his pockets? Yeah, and stuff? yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it look like? How long has it yeah, been dead? How did he die? Yeah, well, a swarm of grubs kind of burst out oh, of no! the chest of his body dun, there, dun, 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 followed dun, by dun, another dun, one. Dun, 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 dun. Well, leave it to me. <laughs> Swir- <laughs> out of his body. That should just be an animated gif of my uh, character just getting yeah. attacked by fucking bugs and <laughs> snakes and. Nasties. Roll initiative! <laughs> oh, now he's jumping up. Alright, 20 and higher? 20. 15 and higher? Nope. Okay. Well, I do. <laughs> no, I don't. Sorry, uh, you 10 one. and higher. No? Okay, I do have that. <laughs> Alright, 5 and higher? 6. Really? Okay, and then... 8! Eight. Eight. Oh, you, okay. Oh. Oh wait, no six. Okay. I don't have a plus two initiative. I thought I did. Uh, you I guys don't. can uh, decide who goes first any way that you want. You got something cooking? No. Just say Elder's Blast. I'll let, him, let him go first. <laughs> okay. okay. This is your Elder's Blast. All right. What's Jacopo doing about his uh, touch? Kneels down oh, to touch that right body, and then, then uh, rot, some rotting grubs kind of burst forth out of it. Jack. Nature. Watch out! <laughs> Two piles out of it. Either armhole in the plate kind of just spill out. Yeah, yeah just... I'm gonna try and dag- dagger on my sp- oh, so I got my short sword. Okay. Okay. And just tell me which pile there. I'll just go with the one that's in front of my miniature okay. right here. And that's gonna be a, an 18 to hit. Hits. That's a short sword. That's a D6. Bam. Oh, nice. Six. Uh, so ten. Ten. Okay. Ten. Oh, I'm trying to... Ah, oh, shit. Fucking shit coming out of his chest. <laughs> Everything's movie trapped here. <laughs> All right, yeah, so you stomp on some of them and uh, yeah. the rest of the swarm kind of surges. I just kind of swipe your leg with my fucking oh, blade. And uh, so they're going to... Uh, sort That'll of swarm up uh, up your foot there, but kind of like uh, they can't find purchase oh, uh, okay. on your leg there. That's good. They won't become a wear spider grub man. <laughs> yeah, the other the other the other side kind of tries to crawl up your back, and then you kind of, as you're avoiding the first pile, kind of step on a few grubs behind you, like, and they retreat. So go wiggle, ahead. wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, yeah. They're okay. <laughs> go ahead, Elder Green. <laughs> okay, Elder Green. Well, technically, oh, you did all yeah, the attacks. Yep. Okay. Well, you got lucky, man. Ooh, I so, did. I, so it, was, it just bothered me when we're not exactly in the lines. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm just, Please. Yeah. Order um, how you like. I'm just going to use um, Eldritch Blast again. Does a 10 hit? Yes. Okay, because that's 15 total. Three to Mom. So which one? This one. To that pile there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Scorch. It's driving me nuts that you're using a percentage dice. I'll kill you. <laughs> Alright, is that okay. the end of your turn, Elder Green? Bloody accident. Yeah. Old Chanty. Alright, so why are you using this? I'm gonna change it up this time. I'm gonna come first with the torch. Okay. Which is the torch only does one damage if I hit. Oh, that's a nice Because those ones work. Yep, that hits. Well. So just one fire damage. Yep, okay. 
And then I'm gonna come it. back with my Ray That one's like shit. shit. I got that score, which I assume hits. indicates right. I won so many times. It's gonna be uh, <laughs> seven points slashing damage. Nice. All right, and the, the majority of the, the grubs are singed and uh, run through with your rapier and your torch there. So that, that pile is greatly diminished. Okay. Um, let's go ahead back up to uh, Jacopo. All right. Greatly I'm gonna diminished. Try and still strong. Take those, top the rest of those motherfuckers yep. here. Sure, sword. Yeah, you're right. It does grow like shit. Uh, that's six plus seven. So you only need to roll an eight. So. Okay, very yeah. good. Yep. So you're gonna hack at him with your sword there. Little sword. Yep. All right, that's a nine. Yeah, you destroy the rest of them. What's that look like? Yeah, just, yeah, just, just, just like, like yeah. yeah, just chopping them up like I'm chopping cilantro. <laughs> all right. Well, the other part, the other <laughs> tired of all these motherfucking grubs coming out of bodies. As you do, the other, the other group kind of surges up towards the back of your leg again. Oh, there. nice. Uh, oh, nice. This time, a few of them crawl into your boots and along Ooh. the se- uh, they Ooh. bite along the seams of your clothes. So, uh, you can go ahead and take. Uh, one damage, please. All right. Yeah, yeah. It bought me. It's uh, your turn, Elder Green. Okay. Um, <laughs> Elder Blast. What else? A two. Okay, that, that yeah, that, that's quite Put that trick there. Thing away. Seven total. Those things are. <laughs> yeah, you only need an eight too. That's too yeah. bad. All right, uh, <laughs> and then uh, old shanty. There's a pile of grubs uh, crawling out the back of your friend's leg there. Yeah. Boy, this might hurt it a little bit. I bring the torch around. Uh, there's no plus to add, Yeah, add your attack bonus there. Oh, so, so that's, uh, that's a nine. Okay, that hits. And so you do the one damage, one right? One damage yep. to the back of his, to his boots and back of his leg trying to get the <laughs> You do not get, uh, you're precise enough if you miss me. All right, and then are you going to do your follow-up again, or just uh, you take care of one grub I don't off the feel like there? I don't feel like I'm close enough. You can, right, so you send you your can with walk your right past him. You can walk through me. Yeah. But I attack first. I, I, wait, is it dual attack? I can attack, move, and then attack again? Or yeah. is it... If you could reach with your torch, you could reach yeah. with your sword. You can use your movement. Well, he's right in front of me, so that's why I figured the torch is no problem. Yeah, you can reach past with the sword. All right, well, then I will reach past with the sword. You could even present well, yourself yeah. right here. That's going to be a... Seven. Not quite it far enough, though. All right. <laughs> All right Get out of the way, Jack. I'm always too worried about hitting you, Jack. Yeah, back to the top there well, with I'm Jack. I'm so small. He's probably possessed. They're bit by all these creatures of the night. Oh, I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm here to kick motherfuckers' aces. All right. What was that? This is a nine. Nine plus six. Boy, so, that hits. Yeah. All yep. right. Wham. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so that's a nine. A nine, okay. Chop, 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 chop. Going to ten. Better, better than half the group is is gone. And they kind of uh, surge up your arm there as you're chopping those. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, none of, oh, they all kind of fall off as you wiggle, wiggle and shake. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So and then <laughs> and then it's back how you fall. Elder Green. Things. <laughs> Elder Get blast. Good at it. Elder <laughs> blast. And uh, ooh, a thirteen this time. Is, all right. right. Ooh, an eight. Uh, okay, it's coming so together now. That's enough. Um, yeah, eight. Yeah, that's enough to destroy the rest of them. What's it look like? Hooray! So, um, I very carefully, so as to not damage Jack, um, <laughs> use teensy little pew 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 out of flash guns. <laughs> very precise, precise <laughs> fingertip shot. <Yeah. laughs> kind of all at once, like a, la- like uh-huh. a laser beam. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Fries the rest of them off. Nice. That's Didn't cool. even knock off my bandana. Yeah. All right, Rock so, grubs. I hate those. If you want to continue picking through that armor there, <laughs> Jacopo. You earned it. It's plate Save armor. Uh, you find a long sword, a shield, and then a standard explorer's pack uh, minus any food or drink. All right. Well, that plate armor is, is yeah, we clean that up and take that with us when we leave. As an explorer's pack, you think this was an adventurer? Probably. They didn't do too good. How did he die? I don't know. Ask the doctor. You can see uh, a, a bunch of like bite marks kind of on the corpse there, so it could be the rot grubs that uh, that finished him, or they could have just been feasting on him since he died. You really wouldn't be able to tell. Does he have a helmet? Hmm? I put it. He got on. bitten a bunch. That's what I. That's my prognosis. 
<laughs> you put on the, I put on the helmet that's too big for me. Hey, is it look? You look the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> look at that sword. Is that nice? I pick up the sword and I show it to the gilfin. What do you think of that? Is it a nice sword or is it just like a plain It's kind of standard, sword? yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We can sell it. Make some money. All right. You can take it with us, though, just well, in maybe case. some of this wine. Yeah, let's look around a little bit more before some. we go any further. All right. I'm going to look around the room at the wines and stuff. These are all shattered bottles, though, right? Yep. Roll an investigation check there. You're going to get attacked by more bugs. That's going to be 20. You notice there's natural. one unshattered bottle that has a unicorn on the label. And you recognize that as being uh, Gallon Prime Water's brand. Okay. Prime Water uh, wine. I'm going to start writing my treasures down over here. Treasure. Oh, fancy, some not fancy wine here. Shall we pop the top and have a little bit? Wait, it's Prime, it's whose brand? Prime Water. Prime Water. Oh, what an asshole. Yeah, it was a good dude who was an asshole. But he's got a bop. Is, are there he's a good dude who was an asshole. Is there any he's other... Any other labels? Like, can we find more unicorn labels? They're, they are. You, you can tell that they are all of that same brand. So yep. this is this is Prime Water's uh, wine stash. Or Prime Water Reserve. Prime Water. Yeah, with a unicorn on the label. Yeah. Well, it's mine now. We'll pop it when we get out of here. Yeah, one one bottle. Shove that one in our sack and take it with us. These are uh, pots. Yeah, they're they're sort of like metal containers. They're ba- like basket size, kind of like. Yeah. Um, That's probably full of some sort of nasty, creepy, crawly horde of bugs yeah. that have climb all over me. Yeah, whatever. You I know, open it up. <laughs> you've been attacked by snakes, and rats, and grubs, and spiders. What's next? Centipedes. Yeah, it should be centipedes. I open it up. <laughs> yeah, they're just empty containers. We've already been attacked by centipedes. Now, boy, I must have. Can I? Fit, <laughs> can I fit inside it? Boop. That's yes, what happens to Yes, you can uh, kind of hide in there. You cannot. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know there's a pathway back there, so... We know what? Uh, there's some tracks that lead to probably a false room there. Oh. Oh. Right. Can, uh, okay, that's it. going to add to the value of this house so yeah. much. I can inspect it. But why do you think Prime Water hired that guy to keep us out of here? I was well, drinking too much rum to remember why. I can like you Prime guys water. tell me why who Prime Water is? Because yeah. I don't. Prime that. Water is a rich tradi- traditionalist who is on the city council. Yeah, that's right. Whereas Kreb, who hired us to clear out this house, is a loyalist. Mm. You think Kreb's trying to make a move on Prime Water? Or perhaps Prime Water's trying to make a move on Kreb? I don't know. Well, the guy said he was hired to keep anybody out from coming in here. He didn't know we were coming. He was hired to keep anyone out. So Crib's probably been trying to send people here. Maybe. Hmm. All right. One could say there's a sinister secret here. Hold on. (laughs) Hold on. The traditionalists believe that smuggling ships should be maintained within the city. So perhaps... Prime Water was using this house to smuggle wine or something else. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, guys. He wouldn't have it all busted, but maybe he's smuggling something else. I'm going to We're investigate to the floor that. there to try and determine if this is a, a trap door or something there with a the footprint's end. Roll a d20. I've got a seven. Okay. What kind of check would it be? Is it just a regular seven? Investigation. That would be a, a nine, then. Okay. Uh, you can see that the tracks lead up kind of to the stone wall of the wine cellar. So it's, you know, it's, um, it's like just a stone mason wall and, you know, to keep the wine cool and, and, uh, but you, you notice that these rocks sort of fit in with the other rocks, but that you could push on either side and the door would kind of... Indiana Jones. All oh, right. Sideways. Hey, I'm too short to push this. Why don't you come over here and help me? You want me to push you pushing it? No, no I'm just going to stand back. <laughs> right, if I get attacked by creepy crawlies. Well, I'll help you. So I push on the I push on the uh, wall. All right. So the, the wall kind of pushes open, and you can see that it opens into another room. You can there. Oh, my. No, this is definitely where the <laughs> elders will sleep. 
So there, uh, <clears throat> it looks to be, yeah, like a, a secret room. It's candle lit. Um, there are 10 beds in there. Uh, 10 crude beds with wooden foot lockers. A long wooden table with stools. Uh, it looks to be dirty dishes on the table. Uh, a leftover uh, cook stove with cooked meals kind of hanging there. Uh, there's a ham hanging from the ceiling. There's stairs that lead up to a trap door and two wooden doors to the east. Okay. Does this place look yes. very lived in? Oh, yes. Lived. In fact, it's so lived in. Oh. <coughs> I didn't even think about that. That there's people that in there. there are there. people in it. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Roll initiative. Do any of them look familiar? <coughs> Uh, no, none of them look familiar. Is the room well lit? They're it's candle lit. Yeah, yeah, it's well enough for everybody to see. That means you can put your torch away. Without the torch, yes. Yeah. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to talk our way out of this one. All right, tie it up. Nobody? All right. Uh, uh, 15 or no? Me. Yay. 16. 16, okay. Alright, so we're gonna have our guys go first. Okay. And then you. Alright, who's got 10 and up? I got 14. 14. And last but not least, old champ. Got nine. Yep. Alright, so. Hit it, boys and gills. Sure have you heard about the Lord Cthulhu? <laughs> We are recruiting people for Cthulhu, ladies and gents. Line up to meet his everlasting love. Here we see what they're armed with, what kind of weapons they're carrying. Yes, uh, you can see... That one's trying to get us. <laughs> He's coming yeah. for us. Can I kill the fan, maybe? Yeah. I don't care. Uh, it won't bother me. Slow her down. Slow her down. That is a nice fan. It is. Oh yeah, okay. This lady at the end of the table there, she's got a short sword and a longbow across her back. Mm -hmm. The other two have scimitars and small crossbows. Um, they have small crossbows? Like yeah. hand crossbows? Small crossbows. Uh, not hand crossbows, light crossbows. Okay. Well, she get me. She had, a, uh, she had a scimitar and a longbow? She has a long, she has a long, sorry, a short sword and a longbow. Uh, and they have scimitars and light crossbows. Okay. Um, these two are pointing their crossbows um, at the door, and they already had them drawn when oh, yeah. walked through. Um, and she's just ready with her sword, sword drawn, and she gives the order. There they are! Attack! Here it comes. Yeah. All right. So this first one is going to shoot at. Uh, looks like that's uh, old shanty there coming through first, right? Mm -hmm. Sort of. Yes. Yep. That would be me. All right, so I, I don't think you can count my torch as a second weapon, so my AC will be 14. All right, that's a 20 to hit. All right, and you're gonna take three damage. All right. Uh, the other one's gonna shoot you as well. Five, 10, 15, 25, 35, 40. Yep. And that's gonna be a 15 to hit. So that, that does not. No, no, I, I have a torch and I have a sword, so I don't oh. think that would count. The 15 it, says when it? I, it says when I'm dual wielding, but that seems... Oh, it would hit either way, right? So, yeah. Yeah. All right. It just hits. All right, so that's another three damage. All right. And then she's going to kind of stand back there, so it's going to be... How do you look at Gilton? Halfway. Uh, trends. Okay, well, I think you already know what I'm green. going yes. to do. Yes, all right. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you stepping in the room Do you right? have um, spells at all? Or? I do. I can cast one a day. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, nice the Eldritch wow. Blast. Plus your cantrips, right? So yeah, I have my cantrips, but that's just Eldritch Blast, yep. and that's it. I need to level up. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, is there intruders in your dude, house? Can I this, see is the, this is the most action I've ever had at level one. Can I see this guy from yes. where I am? Yep. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to say, if you won't join him willingly, I'll send you to him. Okay. And uh, I fire away. Ooh, 17 nice. to hit. Yes. Yep. Hooray. That's a pretty 17. <sighs> That's a pretty 17. Yep. Purpley and gold. Oh, 10 damage. Wow. Oh, wait. Okay. I yeah. got the elder sign. <laughs> uh, you heavily wound that guy. Nice shot. Yeah. 
join while it's still an option. <laughs> Offers on the table. All right, so Elder Green, and then uh, now it's uh, uh, it's gonna be Jacopo. All right. I'm gonna try and hit that same guy with my crossbow. All Jerry, right. me and Jerry. All right, this is gonna be uh, 17 to hit. Hits. All right, I'm gonna shoot him. It's gonna be uh, eight, nine, 10, 11. I launch a crossbow right into his head. <laughs> uh, you said it's 11? Yes. Yeah, 11 to hit. 11 no, to no, no, damage? no, 11 damage, yes. 11 damage, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how's it look? Oh, I rolled this thing and it hits him right in the freaking nose. Okay. <laughs> and that's why I just kind of, uh, it comes out the back of his head. Yeah. Head yeah. shot. He Good is job, shot Jack. Shot in all right, uh, it is now uh, old Shanty's turn to go. Drop the torch. Okay. Big boy's gone. Oh. my sword out. Yep. I'm not going to be able to get to him. He's too far away. No. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. Ah. They're too, they're too yeah. far. Do you have action surge yet? No. <laughs> We're at level one. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. I don't remember. I can't remember when I got it. When I was a fighter. It's been a long time since I played my fighter. 15. You can take the dodge action when you get close enough so that you're harder to hit. Uh, I was going to ready an action. Okay, you can do that too. If somebody comes within your range attack? Yeah, if somebody passes. I mean, they're, they could, they're probably going to shoot bows. Yeah. So I Wait guess, a tick. Do you have a dagger? Oh. I, but I already said I pulled my swords out. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um... I will take the dodge action, but I want to, as a bonus action, use second wind. Okay. Which allows me to roll a d10 to recuperate some of my life. Okay. Alright. Cool. Oh, it's a one. It's one that. plus my level, so that's like two. two. Hey, better than nothing. Yeah. I'm near death. So, yeah. Always. I'm going to dodge action. <laughs> okay. Alright. Right. Always maybe almost I can, dead. Maybe I can take so she's gonna come. I might need to do some tanking. Yeah. She's okay. got her sword drawn. Somebody's gonna have to do something. And she's gonna attack it too. Uh, she draws her sword and swings, but doesn't hit you. And then. How does uh, the dodge action even work? It adds plus two to your AC. Okay. All yep. right. Plus two to AC. Okay. Yep. Oh, so okay. right now we're at 15, that'll be 17. Okay, good. It's either plus one or plus two. Were you thinking of this? Uh, oh, I, I didn't know what it, how, yeah, no yeah. one's ever done it. It's plus, yeah, plus <laughs> yeah. two to your AC. Hey, you got the paper right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Either way, I mean, if she didn't roll anything above a 15. Yeah, no, I wasn't going to hit you anyways. And uh, so the other guy's going to shoot his crossbow. He's going to try and shoot past you and hit uh, Jacopo there. Jacopo. Right. Yep. That's a 19 to hit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right on the nosy. <laughs> He'll take three damage then. Just such. <laughs> All right, Elder Green. Okie doke. What's everybody at? I was making a, a note. I'll go 8 HP. I got 8. I have six. Okay. Okay, I am going to step straight forward. Yep. And I am going to use Eldritch Blast on that one. Yeah, okay, good. Because he's further away. Yeah, I'll see what mm -hmm. I can do with this. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm looking. 10 plus 5, 15 to hit. It hits. Hooray, I did it. Oh, Here hit. we go, it's a one. Okay. One damage All to right. that guy. You gave him another chance. Not that guy. All right, Jacopo. Tangles, doesn't it? I'm going to move over here. Okay. And I'm going to try and take like half cover or something okay. behind that and fire from that uh, from behind this trunk. All right, you've got ha half cover. Being a little fellow. Yep. Good thinking, and, uh, Jack. Shoot at that guy. <laughs> it's not going to be a good shot. Yeah. Too, too concerned with getting my uh, shit done there. Doesn't so, get him, but you are in half cover. All right, old shanty. It's a shootout. Swing of the scimitar. <gasps> That's a nice. 17. Hits. The good. Right. That'll do it. Well, that's going to be uh, 10 points slashing damage. All right. That's a big chop on her. And coming through with the scimitar. Yep. Oh, it's another 17. Good hits. Hit. Some weighted dice. And that's going to be uh, 8 points slashing damage. Uh, you don't add your uh, bonus to that second damage dice. You I do. Oh, you do. Because, because I got okay. yeah. What's it look that's like? That's reason. Okay. Well, I don't like hurting a woman, but I mean, she came at me. Yeah. And it looks like I you can sliced and diced. <laughs> no, this one's dead. Yep, he's down. Yep. 
Nice. Oh shit, he's not feeling good. <laughs> no negotiations. <laughs> So this guy's kind of freaked out, and uh, he's shouldering his bow, and he's kind of charging this way. Ah, five, ten, you don't 30, have to 20, die, 20, kid. 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, nice. He's going to try Man. and he's gonna Man, try you and fight. truck you in cover. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, roll an attack. What's your AC? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh! Uh, uh, he trips and falls on his way by, and he's now prone. <laughs> All right. Did you get a natural one? Yep. Oh, yeah, I sure love did. That. <laughs> How about He's so that? freaked out. <laughs> All right, other green. I want him alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm you get advantage on whatever you're doing. Yeah, right? I'm gonna say pick a god then pray. Now, what are you doing? I'm using. A oh, oh, it's What's a it natural twenty. What's it look like? Um, I don't know. Do <laughs> I have to roll damage? You, yeah, you can. Okay, because I thought he only had one HP gone. Right? He does only have one HP. Gone. Either way. Nine. Okay. And it's 13 total. Yeah, what's it look like? He's paralyzed by this, and while he's on the ground, fully aware of his condition, I shoot <laughs> a, a second blast into his skull. Killing okay. Killing him. Yeah, he's done. Pulp picks me up. That's the second man you killed who's face down. It's the second man you painted my clothes with today, too. <laughs> I said, tell me when you're gonna do that. I like the color red. <laughs> All noticed. Alright, so yeah, they're 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 done for, so I was definitely loud We've got enough that a anybody... door here. No. I haven't had this yes. much blood on me uh, since I had that one crazy. Door, door, door here and a door here. <laughs> I gotcha. I would like to inspect the foot lockers. Do Is we the foot lockers? Yes. They're all locked. Bam um, Maybe uh, I should watch that door while you watch the staircase while he checks these foot lockers. They're all locked. Yep, they've all got padlocks on them. Oh, check the bodies. We'll find some keys here, maybe. Check the bodies? It just so happens I've conveniently piled them up over here. Okay. okay. So the bodies would yield uh, two light crossbows, a long bow, a long sword, and two scimitars. Okay, two scimitars. No keys, no gold. No, no keys, no gold. A bow, two bows? Seems like they were ready for you guys. I know. We made so much noise, everybody's gonna be ready for us now. I'm gonna replenish one of my bolts. Take their bolts from them. They have Good two thinking. long swords. Do we want to take a short rest? Yeah, I don't know if we can. Yeah, they know we're here, I don't know. Um. Well, I dare them to come and see us. There's a door. That's the only way in, though. Right there, that door, right? Now there's a door here. There's a door there with a trap door, and there's two doors over there. Well, I can uh, make it really hard for them to get through that door with my carpentry skills. If I could bust up some of this wood right here on this table. And you're doing that you have a rest. Well, a short rest won't do anything for us right now because we've taken our hit dice. Oh, I have no hit dice. Yeah, yeah. none of us have hit dice. We'd have yeah, to do a long rest, yeah, so yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to stop. Nope. Nope. Okay. That was out of game. It would only help. <laughs> well, out of game, it would only help me with the second win. Yeah. That was the only thing. Yeah, you can get your second win back. That's only if the DM. Rangers get jack shit at level yeah. one. Warlocks too. I'm mean, in the same boat. I'm not gonna be I'm not against it if you wanna try, but we'd have to make sure this passage is sealed up. Watch the stairs. Seal up the door. Well I see no point. What do you want to see no point in yeah. doing it? When, when, they know when, we're here. They know we're here. So we gotta keep going. Yeah, we don't have in metagame, we don't have any hit dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um I'll just have to keep my wind. Right, right. See right. our first wind. Too right, mate. But they know we're here, so there's no reason to be quiet. Mm-hmm. We'll kick these doors open. That was two long swords, two scimitars, two bows, two crossbows. Anybody want? Why don't you take one of them crossbows, Mike? Nah, I don't use those things. Those are for people who don't want to get up close and personal. Don't I don't need it. <laughs> don't want to see the faces. Remember them. So do you want to move on? By them. <laughs> Over this way. Yep. Right. Let's open the door. Okay. okay. This one here or this one? I'm going to turn to the pile of corpses and say, start here. wait here. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Let's start here if that's okay. Yeah, start here. All right, go ahead and open the door. I'm going to kick the door open. All right. No fucking around. 
A comfortable bed inside with a wooden locker, a small wooden table, and three books on a shelf above it. There's a three-branch candlestick with three burning candles. There's a wooden box and a bullseye lantern underneath the table. It's also a closed wardrobe. I'll take that bullseye lantern. Okay. Watch it. Now watch yourself now. You're going in there. Watch out for bugs. Roll an investigation check, Jeff. Watch out for bugs. Watch out for them creepy crawlies. Investigation would be 16. All right. You see that the, the bullseye lantern seems to have frequent use and that the shape of it kind of matches up with the, the scratch marks that uh, you guys found on the window oh, so right. upstairs. This is probably what they were using upstairs. Let me have that bullseye lantern. It's better than my torches. You can have it? Yeah, right. shit. You're taller than me. You, you better shine it in. Um, can I look more closely at the books? Because I guess that's on John. Yes, there are three books. Swedish penis logic. One's a book of erotic poetry. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, one's a naval almanac with times uh, marked in it. The tides of the sea. Oh, that's ooh. really awesome. <laughs> and then the last Fancy. one is a treatise on the demigod Ayus and his minions. Oh, this is trash. And you see... <laughs> 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 and uh, you see there's a folded sheet of parchment inside. Oh, but what's this? Each book is worth ten gold Cheat codes! Or ten, each book is worth ten gold that's pieces. That's a kick-ass book. What is it? Hieroglyphics? Oh, nice. Interesting. Is, is this supposed to be in there? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just can't remember. Hmm. That's cool as shit. The hieroglyphics are what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, they're, um, it's a translation of, uh, it's a goblin. So it's, it's, uh, it's if they're like rudimentary instructions on how to talk to goblins. Oh, okay. So I can figure out how to pronounce these things? Yes. Okay. Get goblins in your congregation. Those are uh, dwarven runes. Our congregation accepts anybody. Who but the language is goblin. Okay. Because dwarven runes are used for many people's written languages. Wait. Yep. And there's also that box on the table as well. Dwarves are smart motherfuckers. I do know that uh, we surrender in goblin is Briak. That's in the books. <laughs> it's in the books. Wait a second. Yeah, but do you know what the goblin symbol for distress is? <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's a big <beautiful> joke. <laughs> if it um, was a subtitle, it says shakes hands sporadically. <laughs> yeah. So um, I guess the question is, why are there dwarven ruins with goblin talk on them? Oh, the goblins use dwarven runes in their script, as their script. Yeah. Does anybody know how to read this? Yeah, you guys would be able to tell, like, uh, you, you'd be able to... Yeah. It'd be like reading um, the Portuguese instructions on, like, uh, uh, airline escape. You know, like, you you could sound them out, but yeah. you wouldn't know what they mean, but the translation's next to it. So you yeah. could sound it out and say it. But we haven't seen any dwarfs or any goblins, so why? I don't know. I'll keep and holding Why it. would it be generic instructions... May I see it? Maybe it's supposed to work the other way around, and the goblins are supposed to say these things. But I've never known a go goblin that doesn't speak common. Right. It's a code. Yeah, it looks like hang on to it. Might come in handy. Huh? Well, the only book I'm interested in is the good book. Would anybody like these? Well, I love to read books. Did you look through all those books? I'll take, I'll take this, this handbook. You check that That's one out. Right. I <laughs> know enough stories. <laughs> <laughs> I got awesome a good book right up here in yeah, my right. head. They're valuable at least, so uh, you can add them to your story. But we keep that paper. Cool. Yes. Yes, we're keeping the paper, and I want to put the books. That's a prop. Props come in handy. Those are cool little books. <laughs> <for that>. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see here. Poetry. Yep. Uh, sex a, book. A, a sex book. Yeah, erotic poetry, a naval almanac with the time of the tides circled. Oh, well, that's something a smuggler would know something about. I want that. I want to keep that in my inventory. Yeah, but why would it be here? How um, close is this house to the uh, ocean? My, the sea. I mean, it was right on the oceans. There. Yeah. And then, and then the other one was. Uh, and then it was a. It's a treatise on Ayus, who's like a demi 
a, a demon demigod. Okay, a demon book. So wait a second. Sex, smuggling, and demons. And demons. I'm He's beginning not- to think this Gillen Primewater might not have been the most upstanding citizen. Is the trunk locked? Uh, the trunk. The it's yeah, it's like a wooden box underneath the table. It's uh, it is not locked. Let's open it up. Okay. This room looks nice, like someone's been sleeping here. Uh, you find uh, that it's full of uh, long candlesticks, flint and steel. <clears throat> There's a stoppered bottle in there. Oh. Mm. And another folded piece of parchment. Why don't you inspect this uh, bottle here while I look at this parchment, eh? <laughs> Safe ship. Safe. We. Ready. Ship. Look at that. There's all kinds of, uh, you know what this might be? Right? Morse code? I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, I'm sure they have Morse code in our world. I'm sure there's yeah, lighthouses you, you would recognize it as a signaling code, for sure. So it's a light. It's, it's a, you, use a, you use your lamp. And you yeah. Flick it on and um, off. That might be what they were doing. The ships in. From the window upstairs. Yeah, they were using the bullseye lantern to, to, to maybe um, signal smuggle ships or uh, whatever to bring them in. Yeah. Like a lighthouse. Now they've probably hoisted some shit up the stairs and that's why it's wet. Do you think up they're... There. Do you think they're doing... <laughs> huh? Do you think Prime Order's dealing with goblins? They might be. Might be. Wouldn't put it past them. And he's pretending his house is haunted to keep people out. Probably. That means we're not going to find any treasure. <laughs> oh, we're <laughs> going to find treasure, whatever they're smuggling. Right. It's just not going to be hidden safely away in the closet. Oh. They'll have to fight for oh, it. Crip's going to have to pay us. Right. Is yeah. there anything else in the room other than that stuff that's in my in the wardrobe? The, the quarters, yeah, there's that wardrobe there. What's in the wardrobe? Uh, fine clothes. Uh, what size yeah. clothes? Human. Shoes. Yeah, humanoid. Yep. Yeah, clothes. I and need shoes. some shoes. I've been barefoot for so long. I'm always barefoot. Why don't you worship Kushulu then? Kushulu. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is there a nice oh, jacket in there? Oh, I get it. That's clever. What's that? So they got a nice jacket in there. But yeah. I won't tolerate that. We'll put the jacket on. <laughs> I was channeling the great so I have, like, Mike tails. DeVito. <laughs> Dragon behind me. I got like... I, your uh, your, your, uh, oh, uh, your uh, hands are tucked yeah. up in the I just the roll sleeves. the sleeves up yeah. a little bit. Keep falling down. <laughs> the tails are like dragging on the floor. All right, that's a nice jacket. Well, I'll uh, the, the stoppered uh, bottle has... Uh, uh, you would recognize as a, a healing potion. Uh, 44 potency. Nice. Um, well, I would like to drink that right now. Safe <laughs> ship. That means bring it in. Safe we. Ready ship. Whoever they're sending. How, how, how's that even a. I guess that would just be a blank. <clears throat> Either this way. Is to tell the ship that the ship is ready. That's safe question mark? Uh, From safe? the ship. Uh, yeah. Gosh, uh, safe. Understand. Yeah. Safe? Safe. Yeah, give me a picture of that. Put it on my tablet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stone thing you're always inscribing things into. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sometimes stones speak well, to me, too. Look, we ain't got time to be dilly-dallying around No, here. let's go. I'm, I'm, I did it so long. You said, maybe we should just move on. And I said, no, what if we investigate further? And <laughs> just move on, just okay. Go the door and see two skeletons. Disadvantage. With well, disadvantage. I, I would stay outside, I thought, no. I don't know. Well, I had to move you because he was in front of the, you were in front of the door, but he opened it. With disadvantage. Dis- Seven. All right, 20 and up? Uh, and I'm 21. Uh, I think. I'm 21. All right. With disadvantage? Oh, with disadvantage, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll just mess around my stupid thing. Never mind. All right, 20 and up. 15 and up. 17. All right. That's pretty freaking good. Then I got 13 and uh, 17. All right, 10 and up. <laughs> Five and up. Eight. Seven. All right, me and you have a roll off. All right. Natural one. I got a one also. All right, let's do it again. Snake eyes twice. How? 15. 18, okay. All right. All right. 
an NPC. Snake eyes! Twice. And then Trenton. Okay. That's a really cool DM screen. It is. Yeah. I love it. All right. That's God. All right, old shanty. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, Jacopo, you go first. Oh, okay. good for you. <laughs> um, he's right on me, so I'm just going to reach down and grab my sword. You deserve it, Jack. I thought we were moving on. Which one? Left critical right? fail! It doesn't matter. It was a critical oh, fail. It sucks. Well, it's fun. Couldn't get me sword out fast enough. They're both going to swing at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These, are, uh, these are skeletons armed with short swords and short bows. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. One hits and the other doesn't. Okay. All right, you're going to take uh, three damage, please. All right. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, well, bad. I'm not doing good. None of us are. Oh, yeah, none of us are. <laughs> All right, old shanty. Oh, did uh, you drink that potion? No. No, okay. Not yet. So you're in the doorway? Yeah, but I'm small. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I should try to pull you back and get you out of there because you're in trouble. We're all in trouble. Ah, uh, just attack. All right. Hulk we'll smash. Let's start right with the one in front. Okay. One on the right there. Ooh. That's a 19. That hits. It's gonna I be... think I'm the lowest. It's going to be 10 slashing damage. Okay. He's still up, so I'll swing back at him again. Natural one. So that's going to fail. All right. Oh, shit. What? All right, other green. What? Never mind. Nothing. What are you oh shitting for? Don't oh shit like that. I, you know what's going on. Yep. <laughs> right or left? Doesn't matter. Okay. It's a critical fail. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking halfling. I re-roll re natural ones. Oh. Well, it's your turn, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Do this. You suck. <laughs> I can re-roll natural ones. Don't let me forget that. All okay. right. I can't, remember, my, I can't remember my shit. I can't I, remember. That's <laughs> been three natural ones. Yeah, now. yeah all I can say is know your characters because I don't. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That bums me out. I've been doing that all night. Really. I've been D &D. rolling ones. For the D&D. &D. Oh, that's much better. A two. <laughs> you can't re-roll a natural two. No. no. It has to be a natural. Next time, roll a one. Yeah. That would have been great. Natural 20. Oh, shit. I'm done. Sorry, sorry Chavers. Yeah, that's three. Yeah, I'm done. Yep. So how many damage do I? The other one doesn't get you. Three, three more. Okay. Well, I'm not dead yet. So. <clears throat> That's good. All right, old shanty. I better deliver. <laughs> Natural one. Natural one on the first attack. <laughs> Second attack. This seems improbable. Well, uh, like that. One, well, all right. So that's going to be that natural one is one plus five, so six. Yeah. That doesn't hit. Okay. No. So this is going to be a thirteen. Okay, that does hit. All right. Which one do you attack? Uh, one on the right. One on the right. Okay. That's gonna What's be it look like? seven points slashing damage. Try to get in his rib cage, I guess. And they kind of break apart yeah. uh, around your sword there, and it falls all to pieces. The glowing? magical light, That's yeah, the good. glowing from its eyes kind of dims. Uh, at the same time, you see a blue glow sort of emanate from this area here, and you hear a. <laughs> oh no. An evil hag. All right, you got another attack? I failed on the first oh, attack. Oh, okay, gotcha, okay. All right, Elder Green? Do you want heals, or do you want Just take out the skeleton. I have to step forward to... I can't... Three of us can't occupy the same space. Yeah. Well, uh, you can go here and then come into the room. I have to go into the room. That's my oh, point, is I don't right. want to go into the room. It's dangerous. Do I see anything uh, when I step in? Blue light. Uh... Let's see, this room, now. just a dingy dark room, it's kind of musty, it smells as if it hasn't been opened in a long time. No other enemies? No other enemies. Okay. Eldritch Blast. Man. A two. Yeah, it Dang. doesn't do the trick. Which is going to be seven. Alright, back up to uh, Jacopo. Alright, you gotta save I should yourself. Have Roll a natural one. Please. Oh! <laughs> Natural two. I'll take that too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this time I'm gonna chop him with my short sword here, and it's um, eleven, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's plus four. Hang on a second. Then it's twelve. Uh, 
Yeah, plus four. Twelve. So twelve damage to the skelly team. What's it look like? like? All right. No. I do. I start from real down low, and I go, "No, you can!" Right up through, and it's like, <laughs> and just split him right in the middle. Just collapses on either it's side. Some, of sword. <laughs> that's something my people say whenever they do an uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time as it collapses into a pile of bones, a uh, a, a hunched corpse wearing a pointed hat. Dressed in a robe embroidered with mystic symbols, crosses through the wall. Oh, no. If it's a hag, fuck we're man. fucked. <laughs> we fucked. Level one fight. Surrounded heads. in blue light. Ooh, he kind of passes through the wall there. He, uh, Ooh, that's fuck looking. he traces arcane symbols in the air. It's another skeleton, but this one's wearing, you know, finely dressed clothes. Yeah. He reaches up with one kind of gnarled, pointed finger. Draws a rune symbol in the air and says, uh, Secrets found and lost, then found again. Your poultry minds cannot fathom. And he stays in the order where those other skeletons were, so it's your turn, alright? Well, Jackbo killed the oh, skeleton. Oh, no, no, sorry, so it's his turn, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. This is your territory, uh, you know, and it's your house, too, so, I mean. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to live here anymore, do you? <laughs> I'm dying. Me, too. <laughs> I didn't want to die because I'm the only one that can help people back up. You're going to die. So he reaches down at his belt and he pulls two flasks and he throws them sort of like in the middle of the room where uh-huh. two pools of acid sort of spread out and hiss, bubbling and steaming. <laughs> Uh-huh. So it creates a hazard sort of in this square here. Okay. Right. So I don't take any damage? Nobody takes any damage. Okay. Oh. There's right. the acid. Yep, just through a pool of acid. And thank you for putting the hazard there. This was the one good room in the house. All right, so now it's going to be Old Chanty's turn. Okay. I'm going to step in front of Elder. Stay back. I have marbles, too, if we need them. You'll regret that specter. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to chug a potion. Boards. Take chug that potion if you can. You have it. You have it. You have I it. I said you inspect this, so you have it. I don't believe you. Mm-hmm. I can go back and play it. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to attack. I'm going to try to stand here and defend. Oh. Do you want to take the dodge action? Well, if I take the dodge action, you'll probably attack someone else. How much? Uh, how are you doing, HP wise? I'm doing better than you. You're a damage dealer, too. Yeah, I know, but uh, maybe we don't need to kill this guy. He didn't quite kill Attack Elder Green. I I mean, this is all real time, so I step in front of Elder Green, and I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to take the dodge action. Okay. All right, then that's going to be Elder Green's turn. Okay, um... man, you can talk to him. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, four. No, I did it. Okay, so um, I open my um, holy book, and I begin a dissonant whisper. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, just whisper a discordant melody of Cthulhu. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Um, Witchery. Yeah, so uh, my eyes will blacken, and he will take uh, 3d6 of psychic damage. You kind of see the skeleton's head turn on. It's like... Its head rotates back around. That's fucked up shit. (laughs) This is scary as (laughs) hell. Yeah, I don't know if I want this. Ooh, that was... 13 damage. That was almost 666. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. A burst of light bursts from its robes. Its ribs expand out of its chest. (laughs) And then they kind of reform, sort of, but he's it's like it's hunched over and like fucking heavily damaged. So okay, all right. It must. Uh, this doesn't really matter, but it must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from me. It doesn't move into obviously <sighs> dangerous ground, such as a fire or a pit. Okay, it can't move any yeah. further away from you, so it's okay. it's just gonna stay where it's at. Save yourself, Jackable. All right. Hit and run. Hit yeah. and run. It's uh, Jacopo's turn. Hit and run. Our God is with us. 
I'm going to stand behind down. you and <laughs> fire around you. Can't you use me as like half cover? I think quarter so, cover? maybe. I don't know. All right, sure. Didn't you do that? But, I mean, it's going to... Uh, I don't know if I did or not, but I, I think I hid. No, I, I took the hide action. Uh, I'm going to shoot take the hide action. Prospect. Just come out, shoot, and get back in there. You can take cover, though. That's fine. You can take cover go, behind me. Go the in there and come uh, back yeah, out. Yeah, I might Wait. do that. Okay. Nope. Pink. <laughs> I, um, you don't know that that's a nope. Yeah, well, that's ten. Yeah, that's a nope. That's a nope. Yeah. I come back out. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. I'm run level one. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Th- all right. Yeah, sure. Um, all right, so he's going to uh, reach two skeletal hands down to his belt and lob two more flasks of acid oh, sort of in this direction here. So we'll, mm-hmm. we'll say that one lands more towards Jacopo. That's uh, out here, out in the oh. other room. I'm not Jacopo. I'm sorry. Old Shanty. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. How's the dodge action help me? So it's what do we figure out? Uh, it adds was? two to your AC. So 56, 70. So that's gonna hit. Yes. Okay. And then the other one is thrown towards Elder Green, but doesn't hit. Okay. So your uh, it breaks on you there, uh, Old Shanty, and and does uh three acid damage. Right. Is the other one on the floor like this one here? Or? Now this one just lands on old shanty. Oh, okay, so this so, one's still burning here. Yes, that that, that right. creates it's a hazard. Singe my beard right here. I can't remember where we had it. Uh, I right. think in the middle. Right, right there. Yeah, there it is. Singe yeah. my beard. All right, uh, now it's gonna be old shanty's turn. Well, I guess he Hulk ain't smash. Doing, he ain't doing shit now. Mm-hmm. Five, ten, fifteen. Yep. Might as well. That's gonna be sixteen to hit. That hits. Strike him down, just my lord's wheel. <laughs> Six point slashing damage. All right. Uh, rapier. It's a kick-ass spell. He had one spell. It was a pretty badass one. And then, uh, that's, <laughs> that's uh, seven. That yeah. doesn't hit, no. Okay. All right, Elder Green. Okay, so should I try to damage him or should I heal somebody? Uh, Dude, uh, just put him down. Do what you feel. He's okay it. out there right now. Okay. Um, well, then I'm going to fire at him with my Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Natural 20. Oh! Um, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I know this is a brutal dungeon, too. Like, I know you guys are really, like, dealing with it here. <laughs> but you're getting lucky just when you need to. You yeah, know? yeah. It's pretty fun. It's telling the story. That's skill! 10, 13. Now, what's it look like? All right! Oh! Okay, so, um... Please it is a skeletal um, spectral figure, right? Yes, it's a skeletal alchemist. Okay, um, well then, in that case, gosh, um, I'm just going to invoke my Dark Lord's name and say Cthulhu Relich and uh, fire off another Eldritch Blast at him. Um, and yeah, just a beam of spectral energy consumes him. All right. Your Eldritch <laughs> Blast kind of, cl- um, uh, it strikes him right where he's got his belt full of flasks. So those flasks explode through their acid, and you notice kind of as they explode that those that sprays out and then solidifies into what looks like tentacles that sort of wrap around his bones oh. and melt them. Uh, and he just kind of uh, falls into a pile of stinking melted bone. Fantastic. <clears throat> That is a nasty smell. <coughs> yeah, it's just not, just, but not harmful. Watch out for that acid. It stings. Nasty. All right. Um. So now I'm going to turn to. Well, Jack. that was a teen. That was a teen. <laughs> I'm going to turn to Jack, and I'm going to say, "And now our God blesses you." And um, I'm going to chant some healing words to him. Um, Cthulhu Rale, you know, um, Nargale. Um, yeah, Cthulhu Rale, you know, So that's gonna be two plus five, so take seven HP. H. Thanks. Nice. You used your spell on me? My daily. You guys notice that, uh, uh with a cursory glance. I get glance, that one daily because each? of my. A skeleton feet. has a golden rib bone, including the skeletal alchemist there. Really? Okay. Yes. Gold. I think that really helped me a lot. We'll put me back in the game. 
And the there seems to be an outline in the door here, similar to the one that you entered through, a false mace, or a stone mason wall mm-hmm. that can rotate around. That appears to be where the skeleton came from. I'm going to put my sword into that skeleton. I'm not touching him. Uh, yeah, there's... I'll take the bones, the gold bones. I was going to say, uh... As, as you kind of put your sword through the pile there, mix it there's a a, a, a a sort of pouch kind of falls off of it, and uh, out of the pouch rolls a, like a sort of a smooth blue stone. Mm. Can I oh. investigate the bones and see if through my knowledge of the occult I can figure out if these are being controlled somehow or what the gold bones may mean? Um, they just look to, to be golden bones. Okay, so I don't apply any significance to it? Nope. Okay. And these are human skeletons? Yep. That's interesting. How could there be undead in this room while men and women were sleeping in the other room? I don't know. That door very, wasn't even locked. It's very strange. I sleep through a lot. What's that blue stone look like to me? Uh, just a perfectly smooth, it's like one of these like glass be- yes, but bigger, like, um, okay. fits in the palm of your hand. I wonder if this is some sort of magical item that made these things alive. What do you know about this kind of stuff? Should I roll an arcana check? Yes. Natural 20. <laughs> okay. <Plus three. laughs> um. <laughs> you can surmise through your arcane knowledge that this would be what appears to you to be a fabled alchemist stone, um, a Nicholas Flamel Mm -hmm. philosopher's stone. Okay. Upon your very best inspection. Okay. It appears to me, upon my inspection and through my arcane knowledge, that this is a philosopher's stone. A falafel stone? Do you know what that means? <laughs> Does it make health potions? It turns objects to gold. Okay. So it turns... Okay. So alchemy in the ancient times was you know, trying yeah, yeah, to figure yeah. out how to turn shit yeah. to gold. Yeah. I was just trying to... Because there's multiple things yeah. that an alchemist stone does. You tell me this turns stuff to gold. That's the belief. It would certainly explain the golden ribs. Two thoughts on that one. One, yay. <laughs> Two, <laughs> there's the treasure. Is it possible that this room is warded? To keep them here and make them keep producing gold skeletons or something for the humans? Contraband? <clears throat> I'm asking my god and he is not responding. By god, it was almost teamwork. <laughs> Jack Hole, sometimes you just gotta step back. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what Orion did. I only got five hit points. <laughs> I had two. <laughs> well, I knew if I could tank it for the wizard, he'd hit him with something and then. Well, my healing words are only for those in our congregation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more interested in turning things to gold. I'm so happy that I'm a lover of Cthulhu now. You, know, you must love all the Elder Gods equally. I know it's difficult, a... but you have to find love for all of them. You all tr- right. Cthulhu is the best, though. I agree. You've cheated death enough, Jack Bull. You're fine. If only there was some kind of CR rating for the creatures we're fighting. That's somehow <laughs> keep track. I bet you we've le- learned a lot. We've probably learned all kinds of levels. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or just talking. Our God. <laughs> Is there any kind of... Uh, I asked the wizard if he checked... The, he's uh, talking to his God about any kind of runes or anything that yeah. would trap these skeletons in this room. No. I think I came right through the wall. Not to my knowledge. Why don't we check that door out there? So oh, I agree with that. I want some cheese. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. It's going to be tough. I'm feeling, Are you going now? I'm feeling a little winded. Well, I'm feeling winded too, but... I mean, you can get in and get out here quick. I can do it. Take a peek. It says there's a door right here that he pushed through. Okay, I'm gonna try and slowly don't push. Step, don't step on that thing. Who knows where it's been? Push it open. Mm-hmm. All right. Look inside. You recognize it as some sort of laboratory. You see all kinds of beakers and bubblers and scales. You see any people? No I'm people. Looking. No people. Not good. Not first glance. It's littered with several golden objects a human skull, 
an apple, a rose, and five small uh, balancing weights for the scales. Oh wow, it's like more of those weights. <clears throat> There's a book on the table entitled Ye Secrets of Ye Philosopher's Stone. Oh my goodness. I need a, I need a yeah, get that, that treasure. Get that gold skull, gold apple, gold rose. Mm -hmm. gold, gold skull, apple, rose, and five weights. It's 55 gold pieces worth of objects. Oh yeah. That's good money. Family's gonna eat. You see, a, a see stacks of uh, forty-seven gold coins piled on the table. There's forty-seven gold. Yep, and a spell book. A spell book. Yep, and a alchemist book. Yep. The uh, the chemical apparatus, the beakers, and lembics on the alembics on the on the table. Are about 20 uh, gold pieces worth of equipment. Ooh. <clears throat> so he's making counterfeit gold. The spell, real gold. The spell book's got uh, dancing lights, comprehend languages. You're writing that? Mm mm. The uh, spell book has what now? Would you be able to use dancing spell lights? Book? No. Comprehend languages, tensors floating disc, and shatter. We got it on the recording too. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, now, how does this philosopher's stone work? I don't know. Can it's I tell? Yeah. Well, I thought he was familiar with it. So the the book would tell you how to make it, and you've heard of it. You know that it turns. I thought he did. Mm -hmm. he, or he's heard oh, of it. Mm -hmm. Then he knows it turns objects to gold, but he wouldn't Can necessarily I just, know how it works. Well, but would you know how long it lasts? Is it indefinite? Is it Can I just gold? like touch it to something like um one of those books that we got? Yeah. Which one? Which one don't you want? You don't want that one about the demon. The sex book. Well, that one might come in handy later. You never the know when you'll book. encounter a demon. Just turn oh, one of my okay. crossbow bolts. That bag on the uh, that bag on the uh, table was a uh, a bag of holding, by the way. Oh. There's a bag of holding on the table? No, not, not on the table. I'm sorry, on the corpse with the uh, that the uh, philosopher's you didn't stone. You should have to tell out. us that. <laughs> yeah, <I don't. laughs> you would have fucking left it. No, 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 no. Put it in okay. the uh, put it but, in um, the uh, thing. Yeah, please add it to your inventory. Oh my goodness. Um, I need that. I was just like, mm, he's got a bag. How nice for him. <laughs> um, that's like the the thing that everybody needs. Um, I'll touch the stone to awesome. one of the crossbow bolts then and see what happens. Nothing happens. Okay. It's broken. I'll hold on to it for now. There's a book on, on this stuff. Maybe we collect all this, in, this stuff up. I have a sack and it seems like this bag here is... Is there anything in the bag? Uh, nope, just an empty bag of holding. That's where the luck. That's where the uh, not the luck stone, the uh, philosopher's stone was. Okay. Could we put all that stuff into this holding bag of holding? You certainly could. Let's do it. We do. Right. It. Take all this alchemist station. Take it all. Put the swords in there too. We'll take everything. Yeah. You put all your loot so far into the uh, bag of holding. Well, what I'm trying to get together in my brain. Isn't this a night? <coughs> Deep thing, eh? I wonder if you could fit in there. I wouldn't want to try. How <laughs> <laughs> would I, would I get sure. out? <laughs> I knew an elf that once lived in a bag of holding. He lived his whole life in there. Mm. He'd come out for groceries and then go back in. It sounds like you got another great story to tell us oh, about I... an elf in a bag of holding. Gosh, but lucky I him. I've been living under a bridge for a year. <laughs> well, yeah, but now you got a bag, so things are looking up. But what I'm trying to piece together is why are the humans in league with these undead? And is the undead he's carrying the stone somehow indentured to the humans. We all do know that the, the house did belong to an alchemist years ago. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. We so do know was, that. Oh, maybe thanks for reminding me, Elder Green. Maybe that was his ghost. I was drinking. <laughs> maybe that was the ghost of the, of the, of the you know, that, that everyone's talking when about. the humans were controlling him. Or maybe he was a lich. Well, well, we my... killed a lich. Now we're talking. It's That's a story I'll god. remember. I knew my god was more powerful than any lich. Uh, can't wait to tell Cream about that. We killed a lynch. Her price just went up. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. It was a lynch. That was, it a, was lynch, a lynch, all right. It was, he was, it was carrying. It was, <laughs> There's so powerful. no doubt about it, it was now. So powerful. You made my, my arrows miss him. That's right. <laughs> it wasn't because I missed. No. <laughs> Damn lynch powers. Also, we uh, 
Well, uh, this is a lot of treasure we've got here, boys. Let's go back and get that plate armor off that nasty corpse. We could sell that too. Possibly turn it into gold. Do we want to check the stairs to see uh, if they go up? Where you mean should we find house? more treasure? Yes. All right. Let's go. Well, that's going to lead up to the first floor somewhere that we missed. <laughs> Let's go. Well, who gets to hold on to the stone? Well, you do. We'll put it in the holding bag holding. And who gets to hold on to the bag? I don't know. Me? Okay, that's right. fine. Uh, as long as it's part of the congregation. All right. What are you saying? You want me to hold the bag? Right? I don't trust you. That's what I'm trying to say, old shanty. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to go back and loot the uh, the guy's plate armor. I don't deal with trust. You can I deal with payment. You give me money, right. and I'm good. Put that in the bag of holding. It's probably sticky. <laughs> it's got a dead guy in it. Oh, yeah. And smushed grubs. And there. Yeah. a lot of yeah. worms. Icarus. Listen, Elder Green, my Stop God cilantro. is my family. I'm here to make money to help support them. I got two daughters and a wife. Hmm. I need the gold. Him off, name I'm as loyal as the gold. All right. Well, let's go upstairs and see if we can find more of that sticky icky. I mean, gold. I'll just so up. as you walk up that, oh. you hear that that voice again. Same thing. God. You're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna die. But this doesn't make any sense. We already killed the lich. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would like to quaff the potion. Okay. Quaff it. 44. 44. 44. Here's two if you want to use them. Um. Yes, yes, we heard you the first two times. That's what I say to the voice. And I drink the potion. <laughs> um, this one will do. We all will die, <clears throat> just not today. Eight. Okay. Ten. All right. You that puts ten. me up to full health. It doesn't matter. I mean, I only have eight HP. Very good. Well, I'll take point. Maybe there's two lynches. <laughs> Maybe they're like so you guys are going back upstairs. Yeah. Like an odd couple that live together. <laughs> just keep stealing. <laughs> That's that staircase there. Wait, so that brings it up us upstairs? Yep. Yes. You emerge in here. Yep. We discovered that trap door. Yep, we ah. did. I thought we did. I was like, I remember there was a trap door in here. Yep. We but we went up the other way. Hmm. Well now you know where it leads. But if we still hear that voice, that means we haven't cleared the house. On yet. the stairs, you heard it going up the stairs. Yes. Want to check the stairs to see if uh... maybe it was just a weird creak. <laughs> I'm gonna go back down the stairs. Is there right? kind of a glitch on it or something? Oh, you don't have to pull them back up. I just wanted to hear if there's a creak. You hear that voice again as you go down the stairs. Can I Trap. investigate oh. all the stairs to see if I can find some kind of glyph? Yes. Roll an arcana check. Can we help him by looking? This is an old man Jenkins Scooby Doo kind of situation. <laughs> um, sixteen. Yeah, you know that the that the uh, that the noise you hear is triggered by your activity on the stairs. Okay, yeah. so <clears throat> they just put that voice there to scare us. Some kind of warning. Thanks for leaving. Hmm? That makes me feel better. At hmm. least it's not a scary ghost or a skeleton. It was a, so it was lich. not the lich after all. <laughs> the um, house is clear. It's mine now. <laughs> well, squatters' rights. We still gotta go see Mister Prime Water. Yeah, we do. But oh, before wait. we go anywhere, let's break the locks on all these locks, lockers here. Please. Okay. Why don't you Eldritch Blast one of them? Everybody yeah. roll an uh, investigation check, please. I'm not going to use my god's powers for such frivolous, horrible things. Ooh. 19? 21. 1! That's okay. 22, actually, 21. for me. 22 for me. So, in the foot lockers you find... What, what did I roll there, Chabbers? Four. Four, oh. four of those... Uh, there's, there's 10 foot lockers. You find four more of those 44 uh, health potions in there. Oh, man! Oh. 
Um, each Foot Locker also appears to have uh, about seven gold each, so that's seventy gold. Mind if I take one of those potions? Yep. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just we pop it. Four. Potions. And then you notice in the well, corner, there's another outline here oh. of that uh, another one of those sort of secret doors there that you've already encountered. If you let me chug one of those potions, I'll be back up in the fight. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, give me four d four. You have enough. Yeah, two. You actually give me a red one that looks just like my red. It's got the blue on it. I guess I went and mixed it up. I'm an old man. It's hard for me to see. <laughs> Four, six, seventy-nine, ten. All right, ten's good. That's a no great old plus one's four. favor right there. A three. Ten plus four, so it's fourteen, buddy. All right, so max health. It's twelve. All right, we have three health potions on. All right, thank you. That means the door every single one feelings. of us should get a health potion. You're feeling Everybody has a health potion. Everybody has a health potion. Put one in your inventory. Do you want me to open the door for you? Or are you comfortable with doing it? You can open the door for me. Very polite of you. Well, you're the only one who knows anything about this witchcraft shit. <laughs> we need shit, to keep you shit. around. <laughs> shit. All right, I'm going to push, push on the door. All right, so it kind of uh, rotates on that top and bottom hinge just like those other ones do. Mm-hmm. And you can open up that, that balloon there. Right. Right. Ooh. That's a bad time. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah. you can tell when you kind of walk through there, it's just sort of like... Uh, yeah, it opens up in that sort of narrow, and that's a mm-hmm. sloping floor. It kind of comes to an end there and seems to branch off. Alright. Let's look in this cavern. I wrote, found another secret door. So much living space. How dark is it in here? Pitch black. Let's light a little, torch. A little lantern out. Is it a lantern yeah, light? Go. Yep. All right, so I'm just going to keep it on, uh, maybe keep it a little low. Maybe 20 feet, maybe. Mm-hmm. 10 feet. Okay. I'm going to light a torch and like toss it into the <laughs> middle of that pitch black room. Oh, shit. Listen, I think this is probably my favorite episode of House Haunters Salt Marsh that I have ever seen. <laughs> I guess the question will be, do you want to list it or love it? Oh, I love it, and I'm not going to list it. <laughs> that, was for, uh, that was for Michelle if she ever listens to this, which she will never know. Oh, man. Salt Marsh episode. Like, pray this. this House Haunters, because there's ghosts. You get it. It's a double entendre. Double entendre? Yeah. That's so are you guys a, moving towards? So he's going to toss a torch into here. In the middle of into there? Room. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it kind of like illuminates the walls there. It's a sort of a uh, wet dripping cave system. There's a, the smell of ocean air kind of moves through the room. It's a little salty and tangy. My favorite <sighs> smell. Yeah, the, the walls right. are wet and rough. It's rough uh, hewn. And it's sort of got a glistening, uh, slick green look to it. Oh, I right. love it! I think we it's can my all favorite. The, uh, the ocean air. This reminds me of the great old one's home. <laughs> How's the footing here? Watch it's yourself. He is. It's a little slick. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to impede your movement, so you, uh, but it's, it's. I'll go in there now that the torch is on the ground, and I'll set it up in a nicer place so that it will keep this room lit in case we have to come back this way. Is there any torch holes on the walls? Yeah. Anything? All right, Chad, make a dexterity check. Whoa! Hey. Be careful. The city of Relay is slippery. Woo. That's that 22. All right, so as you move into the room to get your torch, uh, two big globs of slime sort of drip, drip on either side of you. Don't touch you, but, uh, yeah, not good. No. Anything else? They sort of uh, uh, land with a big, soggy slap, and you can see that there's sort of more slime on the ceiling collecting and getting Oh, I drip. think it likes you. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Well, I, uh, like he said, does, does it look like there's any torch peg hole holders? Okay. No I just kind of, yeah, I, uh, I say, I call back to those guys. Watch out, there's like giant boogers falling off the jump, the ceiling in here. Delicious. Come back, then, come back. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. And I'm, I run forward to the, to the hall, entrance to the hall there. So right. he's going to continue through the uh, cavern. Right here. Put me right there. So Where at? He wants to continue going through, through that way. Okay, go ahead. No, you can open it up. 
Yeah. You guys are staying where you're at? You're kind well, of yelling at me. You gotta have now. to be careful. Run! Yes. So, do we dad do Yeah, we'll let Dex. Yep, you move through there, roll Dex. What if I move extra slow? Ooh, uh, that's good. Yeah, it's uh, sixteen. All right, you move, uh, a, a couple more. Uh, one, another plop of acid kind of comes down. A uh, green slime, I'm sorry, with an acidic splash, but you you're able to dodge it. So. What do you think, Elder Green? Hmm. Cthulhu snot. I think my gods will protect me, and I'll walk through. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Arms out to this the is side. going to either be really cool Natural one. or really <laughs> bad. <laughs> twelve plus a uh, dex, right? Yep. Yeah, it's twelve. Same thing happens to you in another uh, sort of build up in a plop, but uh, just to the side of you, so you make it through clear. <laughs> <laughs> it appears your gods approve of me, also. And you can see that it kind of opens up into another uh, big natural cavern at the end of this. Uh, and then continues around. What do you see with your your uh, torch? Shine it in. Your you. elf eyes. See. I'll turn it turn it up a little bit higher. I'm not sure what the range on it is. To be honest with you, I think it's like thirty or sixty. Yeah, it, it's like thirty bright and sixty dim. Yeah, I mean, we'll say it gets the whole. All right. or it's halfway into the room. Whatever. There, yeah. Okay. You know? but, yeah, but what do we see? Ha- uh, bright light this way, dim light this way. But it's just a rough hewn sort of bright natural light cavern. this way. Yeah, th- dim light this half. You know, because you're shining the light this yeah. direction, right? So this happens well, brightly some illuminated. Light shining through these caves. This is all dimly okay, illuminated. So, okay, so. Yep. All right. Continue. Uh, look up at the ceiling. Is there any more of that booger shit? No, up no there? more booger shit. Yeah. Just all right. A, just a, a rough hewn cavern. I throw another torch into the middle of the room. Why? Well, I got the I got the, the lantern. Okay. Yeah, just in case we all had to right. run back yeah. through here. All right. It brightens the rest of the, the dimly lit area and yeah. you see that it's just a naturally carved cavern that continues up. Listen, I got more. ten of these yeah, fucking things. Down. Good <laughs> thinking, Jack. In case we gotta run back through here. Well, those things <laughs> cost money, you know. They don't <laughs> torches don't grow on a tree. <laughs> Come around the corner and notice it's just another uh, passage that kinda goes connects to where it did before. It's just a loop. I will cautiously move to the uh, to the hall, just trying to be a, a knight. Like I'm, I'm, it's like I'm stalking an alligator in the swamp. You know, I'm just trying to really look for like bats or anything yeah. that might mm-hmm. be hanging off out of a cave or something like that. Yeah, other than the slime, nothing. There's nothing of uh, note. Seems to be pretty uh, clear so far up this way. Stone floor, so you can't. You can see here and there a footprint in some of the soft sand. Okay. Still has that ocean smell. You can even maybe hear the sea distantly. <sighs> Just wait until the other good, elders see this. Give me a good light shine down this hallway here. Alright. Light shine down the yep, hallway. Clear. Yep. I'll go ahead. Alright. Turn the corner there. Turn the corner. Got my cross you see the pass- turn, turn the passage kind of forked again. Still don't see any and what wild about this? creatures or wildlife. You can take that off. Oh. A little no, no rats or anything. Nothing of note. Creepy crawlies. Uh, there's no treasure chest yeah. or bodies for them to pop out. Or right. fireplaces. I'm gonna throw a torch. Dimly into the in the distance, you can see that there maybe are some shapes of crates or boxes. Okay. Uh, further along. I'm gonna throw a torch right here in the middle of the thing. Yep. To light, you, you light can it up. see a little bit more that it's sort of illuminated. Uh, you see, sort of, um, yeah, what looks to be perhaps the shape of barrels or boxes, maybe in that further, that further uh, cavern. All right, let's move forward. So your light is like more like personal, like you can see where we're going. But that thing is, I mean, if we have to haul ass back through the might, might. If we get here, we, we can we can shine the light down this way and shine the light this way. Yeah, shine the light. May all the creaks there a little this bit. This will probably we can see. Yeah, hey, now. well let it let's. Uh, we want to shine the light in that room with the boxes and stuff. With the boxes there, yeah. okay. Can we pull this up? Yeah, so everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Because as you approach that alcove, you notice the shape of some humanoids. Oh. Humanoids. Away. Oh. Humanoids. What can you do? Waka waka. The gods give us the I gods came here to it. kick motherfuckers' asses. <laughs> All right, so uh, please put these two guys in the far end of that alcove. God. Would... And have the bandits uh, running towards the entrance He's so there. cool looking, man. Oh, cool looking guys. I'd love them. And these two right here? Yep. Very good. All right, let's roll initiative. All right. I don't think any of them want to join our cult. Ooh, I mean, that's not good. You get to re-roll a natural one. I do. Yay. You get to re-roll a natural one. Oh, you still can. Ooh, shit. <laughs> What's that? 
That's a 19, sir. All right. This is Scooby-Doo and Cthulhu, and that is perfect. Yeah. It's a very fun game. Yeah. Oh, picture this. So, the question is, why they go for, they would take the mages in the back. Go straight through there, go for the mages. Maserati. Sure. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Check out the casters first. It's typically good advice. All right. Twenty and above. For, uh, I'm at no. That's too bad. Fifteen and above. Nineteen. All right. Uh, roll off with me, please. Twelve. I got four. So you can next. No. All right. Who's got fifteen and up? Oh, I'm gonna do uh, ten and up. Fourteen. Okay. Okay. Fourteen and two. All right. Let's do it. All right, um, so, so we see two bandits, and the guys in the back, how do they look? Uh, so there's a guy back there, a tall man with a shaved head and piercing green eyes. Uh, he's also sort of got like a, uh, like a, what appears to be a henchman there, and then two more sort of, uh, crudely dressed, you know, henchman looking guys. So this guy looks like a guy who's badass. No, it wouldn't be wise to do yeah. so. You will not prevail against the fire. All right. Oh, but we will. The hammer is his penis. I shouldn't have used my first penis. <laughs> it's really hard. The soundboard rocks. <laughs> No. <laughs> Alright, so he goes first, right? Yep. Yeah. We're about to find out which one's the boss. <laughs> Alright. So I don't know what voice that was. Can I have that laser pointer, please? Yes. Sure. Thank you. Oh boy, Jack of Bull. It's 50 50, buddy. Alright, so. There you go. Okay. This guy right here is going to shoot a ray of frost in this direction here. Okay. You got this, buddy. It's it's full health, right? It's in my new cave. You got the pop out. Don't be afraid. Our god stands with us. Yeah! Alright. <laughs> we should come up with everybody gets whenever they roll a d20 they have their own specialized uh, yeah, celebration. Yeah. We got this one. <laughs> That's this party, yeah. We're gonna come up with one for you. So roll the natural 20 and we'll figure it out. I do could. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I just had, to, I had a brain freeze. Ah, it's fine. The ray of frost hit your brain. Yeah. Just had to check the range on it. So. Yeah, it's a 5, 10, 15, 20, it's 25, gonna have 30, yeah. yeah. Funny. Well, Chanty's is a casting rod? Question mark? Yeah, that's it. Alright. So that's a 21 to hit against uh, Jacopo there. Mm -hmm. He's going after Jacopo. Sword on that. Is that hit? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Sorry. And does this much damage? Two? Yep, two damage. There's what? extra. They got dog punishment for that ray of frost, isn't there? Like a. Slow yes, yeah, so you, your, your movement I'm is. Uh, reduced by 10 feet until yes. the start of your next turn. Okay. Okay, it's okay if you go with the crossbow, you'll be fine. Alright. Alright, uh, old shanty. Alright. Let's get in here. 5, 10. Hulk smash. 15. I'll stand yeah. right there. That way he can still. I got stuff. two swords out. I'm gonna start swinging at the oh, lady. Oh, put in a hoil in this. Oh, put in a hoil in this. Everything within an inch of its life. He's fair. 22, 22 on the lady. 22 on the lady? She's yes. The, she's the one on the right there, yes. right? Yeah, okay. Let's that that hits. For each kind of turn. That's gonna be nine points uh, slashing damage. Nine? Okay, that, that heavily damages. And I'm gonna swing at the little guy. Okay, with the other arm there? The other arm, yes. He was going to be 17. That hits. Nice. Kick an ass. That's going to be 8 points slashing damage on the little one. Also, it's coming there. Shing, also shing. heavily wounded. Shing, shang. I want my treasure. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. So the uh, 
next to Santa Blet there. Yeah, oh, it comes three to tox. Is going to draw a bow from his back. Oh, boy. And shoot at Old Shanty. Here we go. I love that you got a um, nickname. What do they call you? Uh, uh, that's Elder a Green is nine to hit? Is that a five? Five. Yeah, nine to hit? No, no right? No, we're at 15. All right. Really, is not Matthias. But the other two? <laughs> What's that? The other two now? Yes, the other two. Uh, yeah, so the lady's going to attack you with a scimitar. Oh, that bitch. 19. Uh, okay, so that's 22 to hit. That hits. And you'll take three damage there. All right. And then the small one's got a nat 20. All right. So you're going to take six damage. All right. So they just kind of like that is very all rude. three of them uh, surround you and just uh, get out. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. All right, so I'm relying be... on the team. <laughs> now it's gonna be Jacopo's turn. Who are you attacking? A whoop and an Who are you attacking? You crit on a 19 or a 20 here. All right, 19. Right, okay. You crit on a 19 or 20. No, I don't. I don't. Um, I just thought maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna go for the little guy because he's a little guy and I am too. All right. Uh, I think it's a D8. I'm a little guy. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Twelve. What'd you, what'd you roll to hit? So oh, four. nineteen plus. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Okay. So it's and the twelve uh, kills him. So what's it look like? I pull up my crossbow and I'm like, oh, not today, shorty. There's only room enough for one of us. Boom! <laughs> and I shoot him right in his fucking. He goes to stop the arrow and it goes through his hand and into his face. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's down. That's uh, the little one down. It's the little guy. Oh, it's the little guy? Yeah. It's the little guy. The little guy. The little guy. The little guy. Oh, he was uh, one of those. Yeah. It's it like, a dick thing. Hey, man. <laughs> All right, that's the end of my turn. That's the end of your turn? I don't right. have any more actions. Alright, Elder Green. Um, good job, brother. <laughs> Um, you know what's gonna happen. Yep. Eldritch Blast. Oh! <laughs> um, on this guy, of course. Oh, okay. Line of sight. Um, and it's an at 20, so two D10s. Yep. Um, that's gonna be 10 damage. Okay. That's a big shot. Swoosh! Uh, doubles over. Ah! All right, Chad. I'm going to then try to get out of line of sight. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so he's going to. Uh... What? Sorry, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> I can't help you though. I know. I mean, I'm going to be able to help you if you go down, but. Mm-hmm. Alright, so yeah. it's uh boss's turn. Yes. He holds up his hand and traces arcane symbols. Uh three glowing darts of magical force spring from his fingertips. Oh no. That's it. Uh, they're all directed at uh Jacopo. Oh, okay. So you're gonna take well, you did just kill somebody. I did. Uh, you can't nine, go around doing that. Nine damage. I learned and the hard that way. Does it? Do you go down? Yep. I am oh. down. All right, old shanty, it's your turn. He sort of laughs. Uh... <laughs> you fools! You fools! You never should have come here. <laughs> never should have come here. <laughs> He takes his uh, scimitar, sheaths it, pulls out the health potion. We'll see who laughs. Pops the health potion. 4D4. Uh, you, got, you got another one? Oh, yes. Cthulhu's more besides in that one. <laughs> who are you using that on? Myself. Oh, okay. 7, 8, and 10. 10. Okay, that's good. 10 plus 4 is 4. Four. Alright. Right. And he just looks at the girl next to him. You're the next to die. Wait, are you a girl or a guy? I don't know. <laughs> she answers with her scimitar, though. Yeah. 18. Alright, that's uh, probably going to hit That's going to hit. Right? Yep. Alright, so you'll take three damage there. Alright. Gosh, the first level is always the hardest. 
<laughs> and, uh, this is motivational music. This guy with his long bow uh, is gonna go get after you too. There, red. What's that? Two. Two. That does not hit. All right. And he's kind of. The music makes him feel all powerful. <laughs> all right, for a second, poke. wind just blows through his from. hair. To fail. Yikes. Okay. I am going to. Oh, I do have a potion. Yeah, a potion will bring him straight up, won't it? Yes, yes, yeah. you gotta t- take care of it. Okay. I'm, I, I was a potion to buy you some time. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run forward and kneel down next to him. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to pop open a potion and administer it. Okay. Um, 44? And then we got a fourth. Oh, I got here, right? And I'm going to say, it's not time to be on God. Yes, brother. And that's three, four, eight, nine, ten, so fourteen. Thank you. Oh, it's nice. What was that thing? Blabbed me right in the gutty. Mm-hmm. Right in the Jackson. So you uh, ran up to him and administered a potion, right? Yes. You can put him back on his feet. It's a shame you love your attack. At the same time, Santa Blet points to you like, That's what you think. That's uh, what you that's think. That's what you think. That's what you think. Maybe it's time we ran, brother. What's your AC? It's a 19 to hit. Me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hits you? Am I within? Yeah, I guess I'm within. I just like... Yeah. I mean, I was going to run away, but I said not to. It could be here. You know, we could just move. Yeah. Actually, it's a line of sight. Eight and one. Okay. Yeah. He uh, moves both of his hands three times. Three rays of fire shoot from his fingertips. Scorching ray. Ooh, oh. Scorching ray is bad. Scorching ray, I know it. <laughs> you take six damage. Okay. The one hits you and the other two miss. Scoosh, scoosh. All right. Old Shanty. All right. Okay. Just gonna swing at this here la- Whatever it is. Gender fluid individual. According to you. Natural hey! 20. Hey! All right. Arr! Arr. 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 That's all I got. Arr. Arr. <laughs> I like the blue one. <laughs> no, it's mine. All right. That's, I, 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 that's 15. 15 17, 18. Slash of damage. All right, that's, yeah, that's the end of it. Yeah, that's so, yeah, what it looks like. Oh, I can just swap her head right yeah, off. Yeah, fine. I that's don't care if you're a man or a woman. You're going yep. down without a head. I'm not sure. I told you. That's, wait. That's a man. That's a beard. I told you you would be next. <laughs> that's I a called dude has got a beard. Yeah. <laughs> I called him. Um, okay, these cool. fists are equal opportunity to ask me for this. Yeah. Uh, you have a second attack. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You can get there. Yeah, 510. Kill the wizard. I'm gonna at least hack one of them a little bit. Okay. Magic card is a jealous card. 15 hits. 8, wait, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. Hits. Alright, 13. Nice. It's gonna be 7 points of slashing damage with right. the Sotar. Alright, his friend's gonna drop his bo- uh, bow and draw his sword and move towards you. Of course. It all comes down to dice. Where's my phone? Mm, here. Thanks. Hey. That's it. Ah, got lucky. Yep. Alright. Uh, you guys got the bow. You guys got one truck. Who are you attacking? The wizard. Alright. And that's gonna be 17 hits. Okay. Oh, come on. He's flying out of my hand. Um, six damage to the wizard. Okay. I shoot a crossbow and it hits him right in his neck. In the neck. In the neck. Alright, he's next. Elder Green. Elder Green. Got him on the ropes. Mm. Eldritch Blast. Which one? The wizard. Okay. It's going to be a 15 to hit. Hits. Three damage. All right, he raises his hand to fire what looks to be the sparks of another three flaming bolts right at your face before they all extinguish as his hand droops. What's it look like? Oh, all right. Hooray! How do you want to do this? Okay. okay. He's a 
in your house? Well, enraged by his attacks of my fellow cult member, <laughs> um, <laughs> Awkward. Um, I'm going to um, step forward and uh, conjure up the most strength I can. Um, yeah, invoking the power of Cthulhu to save not only me but another of his followers. And um, I'm just going to strike him down with great, unholy tentacle power. Everybody in the room hears a little bit of those dissonant whispers that we heard. Oh wow! And it's, it's a huge blast erupts from the elder and obliterates uh, the wizard. And he's down. This guy puts his hands up and stops. Like, okay. <sighs> I was, you gonna, got me? I was going to tell you to drop that sword. Take whatever you like, he drops the sword. Please, just spare me. Well, we gotta do full cavity searches. I don't trust anybody anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was his bowels. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate you bending over and spreading them. Yeah. Back to him. He's beautiful. He is cool. Here, I'm gonna keep it. He's neat. I'm gonna keep a sword at him. A jackable, can you tie him up? Oh, I certainly can. I know a few nuts. And I'll uh, restrain the man. All right. That was good work, Elder Green. I like how you dissipated him. <clears throat> I'm going to crouch down next to the tied up man and just say, Would you like to hear about our Lord and Savior, Cthulhu? <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys notice that the stuff that's piled up against the wall, it, it looks to be um, uh, uh, bran- barrels of brandy. Nice. Um, also with that stamped with that unicorn symbol that the bottles were so wine and brandy Un- unopened unopened and there's also bolts of exotic silk uh, stacked up against the wall oh hey, uh, we want to check this guy's whatever left of his body check these uh, yeah we're going to loot the two bodies yeah, yeah. okay uh, and Santa Blet was the name of the uh, the wizard there you find a pipe of remembrance oh pipe of remembrance a set of loaded dice. Remembrance. A set of loaded dice. Loaded dice. I like those. You notice that your prisoner is wearing a fine set of scale mail armor. Oh. And then the other two just had the same uh, light crossbows and scimitars as the other uh, pirates. Cool. Maybe this guy can answer some fun questions. Shoving all this shit <clears throat> into the uh, bag of holding. Bag of holding. This so, guy's wearing fine scale mail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks. Um, it looks like the nicest armor that you've seen. Mm-hmm. Why don't you take that off? Okay. He starts undressing. Oh. It's called Mariner's Slower. armor. It's Slower. Slower. Yep. Anyway, Mariner's armor. Mariner's armor. There are five bolts of silk, each worth fifty gold, and mm-hmm. eight casts of brandy, each worth ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um... How much brandy? I thought we tied him up. We tied him up, right? He's tied up, yes. Okay, we tied him up. Um, Jack, well, you tied his feet, too, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. He did good. Now we have some questions. What's that Mariner's armor do? That's the first question. Don't know yet. You're going to have to attune to it. Yeah. Yeah, good point. I'll take a short rest. Well, listen, Elder's going to talk to this man. Where are the drugs going? I'll spend... (laughs) 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 Where... I'll, <laughs> I'll take the next 20 minutes to just try the armor. Try your, Apparently your, it's a broken link here. So. Try your good constable, bad I can look constable. If, if it's I'll tell you right now, thing. bad constable ends up, you lay it down and he burns you alive. I'm so excited. For what? To see what it is. Mariner's armor? Mm-hmm. Can I see the player's handbook, please? Where are the drugs going? I think it's in the DMG. What, is, it, is it drugs? Mariner's armor is in the DMG. I want to see that. It's Fuck you. <laughs> look, there's silks. There's brandy. We know they're making gold. Maybe you're using the gold to finance the silks and the brandy. I wonder if they're bringing it into town. So is that what you're... you're so you're interrogating your prisoner? Right? Yes. What's, his, what's your name? <coughs> uh, Frog. Frog. Well, Frog. He's, he's a hobgoblin. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, well, start well Frog. That's why he looks like that. I have a few words for you. Ah. Um... None of these are actually helpful in this situation. No. Well, <laughs> you, can, you can play make them up. No, it's okay. They're not helpful. I can, what am I going to say? Stop? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, he's not. He's not with them because he gave up. He did protect the wizard, so he will deal with us. He's more than well. Frag. Right. 
Where are the drugs going? <clears throat> oh, don't know what you mind. <laughs> okay. Explain to us your operation. Oh, we wait here till we get the signal. Then we go down the other passage and bring the goods out to the ship. Which goods? These goods in here. The oh. drugs. Brandy silk. We- oh. Weapons. I assumed there were drugs. Okay. Well then, is we- it Prime Water that hired you? What we- weapons? Well, I think Prime Water hired the wizard. And these are the people they're dealing with. Who employs you? Is it pl- Prime Water? I'll get paid by the week by me, Captain. Santa Black, this fella here, you charred his bones. He paid me. He's the captain. His captain. Ah. So you're telling me you don't know anything? I know that I get paid good gold to smuggle these goods just like about half everybody else is. Well, if you don't have any information that's worth your life, I'm afraid there's not much that we wait, can do. Wait, wait, wait. I may not say. I could tell you that the uh, ship is supposed to arrive any day now. We signals it with the lantern. If it answers back, then we row out to it. Let hmm. me ask you this. Upstairs there was these really fucking scary skeletons. Right. Are you all in league with ghosts and demons? I don't know nothing about no skeletons, but there have been rumors this place been haunted. If you've been exploring up the stairs, I'm not surprised. All right, all right. Fair enough. He's been very cooperative. When's the, uh, well, how about my life then? When's the next vessel? What's this armor do? <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it helps me swim with wearing armor. So you, your your swim speed is your movement speed. You should be ready. And then if you get down to zero I mean, hit armor, points, it brings medium. you to the surface of the water, so you can't drown. It's medium, bro. Yeah. Um, now, when's the next vessel coming? We don't know when it comes. We shoot the signal every night, and if we get an answer back, then we know to move. Have you done the signal tonight? We've done the, the signal tonight. And you told him it's clear? I see no ship answer back. Hmm. Would you be willing to join a congregation? I suppose so. Is that also a condition of my living? No, you have a choice. Uh, Everybody has a choice. I will not join. No. (laughs) There. Are you the the ship? You didn't come in on the ship. No, I didn't come in on the ship. I'm a smuggler. So you've got no ties to the ship. I get paid, I assume, from whatever it is. What do you they get do. paid? Ten gold a week. That's a lot. Or we could use him. I don't care what we do with him. If he doesn't want to join my congregation, then he's as good as dead to me. Wait a minute! I thought you said I could live. I don't care what they do with you. Oh. <laughs> well, all right then. I suppose I'll take my I'm leave. Going to leave. I've got no weapons around. It's possible we could use him when the ship. To lure the ship here, or if we're gonna have to go out to the ship, you said they took a dinghy out there. It's up to you. You make the choice. I stand behind him and go like, <laughs> he didn't hurt any of us. Try to. <laughs> no, I can't hurt anybody right now. If you kill me, you're not better than I am. I oh, never said I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, you know what? Let's leave him here. I think he can be useful. No, he's got to leave. He's got to get out. I I'm going to live here. Well, he's restrained for now. Let's just move on. And we can okay. decide what to do with him on the way back. We're well, just going to leave me here like an animal. Well, for a little while. Well, he knows. <laughs> you know your way around here? What do you mean? You've got me tied up on the ground. You know your way around these caves. Yeah, I know my way around. Of course I do. You couldn't do my job if I didn't. You could be a guide. You want me to untie his feet and hold a sword to his back? I'll hold a sword to his back. All then. right. I'll follow. Come on. I'll right. cut, cut his feet out. All right. But your arm's still tied behind your back. Well, once you you here, me, I assume you've seen most of it. Well, I want you to take me where the lanterns are. Where you're supposed to signal. You signal upstairs in the house. Yeah. Oh, in the house. You got yeah. a wheelbarrow around we there. We figured that out because there here. were little... Oh, yes, the yeah. window. How many of them are you? I imagine if you made it this far, you've seen a lot of us. But there's always more. You want to explore down there? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. While they're talking to him, I'm just going to keep going. You find that that passage kind of opens up, and you find some more supplies uh, stocked a little further along. 
Um, there's three more bolts of cloth, again, uh, each worth uh, 50 gold, and five more small casks Jeez. of rum, each worth another 10 gold. I don't remember how many um, bolts of silk we found. Uh, five in the other room, so that's eight altogether. Check so eight. eight bolts of silk. Yep. I've and 16 a total uh, casks of brandy. Jack of and this, a of there's a boat here? Uh, if you go all the way to the end, yes, uh, you see a boat there. There's a, So it kind of opens up to a sea cave. The mouth of the cave opens up to the ocean, kind of like the Goonies. And there's a boat moored uh, right there. It looks like they load the, the brandy and silk mm-hmm. onto the boat. Yep. Uh, it's a smuggler's bring, cave. Yep, to bring out to the ship. Yes, it's a smuggler's cave. Uh, Jack of I don't know if I can kill him. Throw him on the boat. He'll take the boat out and signal them. No. We need to hire him. He won't. He's a smuggler. He'll work for us. Jack, well, you're a smuggler. You know about smugglers. You could talk to him. Talking private over here. Watch that guy <laughs> with your Elric's blast. I'm going to let him go if you guys leave me alone with him. Uh, what are we, wait, what are wait, we planning Wait, if he just said he's going to let him go, we don't want to leave him. We're yeah, stand, you guys we're, don't want to leave him. Let's just step away where I can just talk. Because I told, yeah, because I told you guys I'm going to let him go. We should have never brought I him said, out to the dinghy. Don't. We should have never brought him out to the dinghy. You never should have come here. What are your plans with this guy? What are we afraid he's going to do? You hire him. To do what? We don't have that kind of money. You got to feed your kids. I do. It has to be you who pay him. You're a smuggler. This is where you start your smuggling empire. On the smuggler? On the shipbuilder. You're a smuggler. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't have any use for him. I'm let him go. If While you, you decide, he starts to run up into the sea. <laughs> Uh-huh. He's gonna run into the sea. Yeah, he's gonna start swimming for it. But he's got his hands are still tied. Yeah, he's hopping. He's gonna just and whatever. He'll drown. Hey, he's just, uh, can I run forward and grab him? You can. Okay, I'm gonna run forward and grab him by because I imagine you his pull hands him back, are sputtering. Yeah, pop, pop, I imagine like, his hands are tied behind yeah, his back. He's, he's floundering in the yeah. water. He's, well, you're alone with him. Trying to green. I'm like, going to do. grab him by ah, the binds and pull him back. I'm going to put him into this boat. He's kind of like flapping. I'm going to around. put him into the boat, and I'm going to say, "You'll drown with your hands tied like that." Don't battle them with you, dogs. And I'm going to cut his binds free using a dagger. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a cantrip. All right. Called thalmaturgy. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to make the ground shake, and I'm going to deepen my voice to a hellish gurgle. Okay. And I'm going to say to him, New owners, New owners have taken the house. house. Leave and never leave. come back. Roll intimidation. And I'm going to advantage. kick his boat out into the ocean. Okay. Natural 20. All right. Oh! <laughs> Uh, yeah, he sort of just collapses into the boat as it sort of the waves drifted away, and he just screams, oh! <laughs> 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 and the tide kind of just fun. slowly starts carrying it out. Okie dokie. He's gone. <laughs> I yeah, heard black tongue. It's for the beast. Yeah, you surprised me there, Elder Green. I'm, I'm proud of you. Maybe there is something to your god. If he's. Not I'm quite. God. <laughs> He's an awesome, awesome god. god. <laughs> well, I just I don't know if I, I like a god who burns people in beds alive, but I can live with one that. I'm puts a man certain out on that the they sea. all do that. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, I'm gonna drink some of this brandy, guy. We need to find old Lime Water and have him answer some of these questions. 